Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning. Well, if you're you know on on the West Coast like me, hello. Uh, welcome to uh, a long episode of my GQ Hotfix show. Do all the things where we show off episodes of speed runs, along with runs where we do collect all of something in the game, like all bosses, all levels, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. stuff like that. Uh, so today, today we're gonna have a uh, a banger to say at least a very a very nice run here. Should be we're doing show off Mario Wonder one hundred percent. You know the new game it just came out. It's gonna be awesome. Looking forward to it. And here we have uh, one of the best writers in this game as well, too, Silo. The, the one showing you off today. Hello, Silo. How are you doing today? Hello, Shasta. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm looking really forward to showing up this category today. Uh, I've, been working on, yeah. I've been working on 100% since the game came out. And uh, hopefully we can show off some things. And with me in the camera. Of all the booth, things. Oh, all the things. Obviously, that's the point, right? Yeah. <laughs> and with me in the commentary booth, we have... Uh, Lost 28 or Kyle. Hello, everybody's doing good. I also play a decent bit of this game, mostly in the shorter categories, but I should be able to fill in a lot of the gaps. Yeah. I think we have a. I mean, are we good to go? I think so, if you're ready. Yeah, okay. Should I give counter? Sounds good to me. Alright. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! All right, let's uh, go. Let's do this. I see many of you in chat and the stream have already seen quite a lot of this of the speed game, but probably mainly any percent and maybe some all royal seeds. But hundred percent kind of overlooked at the moment, I would say. It's a great category, and uh, I'm gonna show it to you today. Yeah, we already had a poll in the chat uh, what character we are playing. It basically doesn't matter which one we play. If we don't play Yoshi or Nabbit, the other characters are all the same. Um, there's only a slight difference, but it doesn't matter too much. And right now, going to the first level. How about you, Carl, talk about the requirements for 100% in this game? So, 100% requires us to obviously beat all the levels. It requires us to get all the purple coins, which you just saw one of them. Uh, it requires us to get all of the Wonder Seeds in every single level, uh, which you'll see coming up in a second. The Wonder Seeds are kind of their own bag of tricks that we'll get onto in a sec. Um, there are also the Standees, which is probably the most, uh, we say, fun, in a very joking way, part of this category. I think we're going to talk about those uh, later. Yeah. Gonna, like, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get into Standees later. Um, and yeah, it also requires you to get the top of all the flagpoles. Um, which is a very annoying time loss if you miss them. Because, uh, oh, yes. yeah, it can happen in a lot of levels. Indeed. Bye. 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 Yeah, done. Those are the best problems. Something you might have noticed is that um, compared to other categories, I actually go out of my way sometimes to collect um, single purple coins. Um, and that is for the standees, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. And uh, second to go. Does not gonna include uh, special words? It does. We're gonna do every single level in the game, and we're gonna finish off with having all the all the objectives, all the collectibles, and every single level done, including the very difficult batch marathon at the end. Yeah. Okay. Second level, Piranha Parade, actually has two X's, and you might also notice that I actually skip getting the first 10 purple coin, and you might be confused because Kyle just said, oh, wait, those are required for Hundo, right? Yeah, they are. But we're actually gonna get that later on using a different badge which will be speeding up this level. So we're gonna skip the secret exit and the first coin for now. Yeah, and we actually have the contrary of a fast level in Piranha Plant uh, Parade, because there is a 40 second auto scroller for the Wonder Seed. <laughs> yep. It's a banger. It is a banger. That is true. Unfortunately, I can't hear it right now, but it is a very good song. <laughs> it's so good. A friend of mine, um, when this game first came out, said on Twitter that uh, this game peaked in the second level. <laughs> and, and they're kind of they're right in a way. <laughs> I mean, I, I like all the like s like song levels in this game. They're, all, they're all bangers. I'm gonna see more of that later. And yeah, I'm just gonna get the top of the flagpole here. And that's the second level done. Only like, I don't even know how many to go. Over 100, probably. 
quite a way, that's for sure. Yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of <laughs> levels in this game. I honestly don't even know how many wonders you see in the game. I think it's around 240. I think Ooh. that's correct, yeah. Yeah. And Somewhere in that range. Each level usually has... Each normal level has two. There are some smaller levels, which have one, and some with secret exits, which have, uh, which have three. Yeah, it's w without a doubt the longest 100% 2D Mario speedrun. Like, two hours of anything else. So you, you might also notice that I actually grab power-ups even though I already have them. And that's because if you already have a power-up and you collect another one, you get an, one extra purple coin, which is worth for us in this category. For reasons we just not I assume I'll come back for a secret level, or a secret exit in the last level later, right? Yes. Alright. Funnily enough, we actually do that secret exit of Piranha Parade at the very end of the run, basically. Really? And the reason for that is because when you beat the game, when you beat the last level, it actually spawns you at the beginning of World 1 afterwards. And that's that's the point where we do the thing. Because we don't, have, sense because we don't, have, we don't have, to, have to warp there again, we just we are just there. I think that'd be pretty in line with my own casual playthrough, actually, because I know a secret exit existed for a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, that one is also a tough one to find. Yeah. I, I looked for it for ages in my playthrough. So it high, trust me. <laughs> it's a tricky one. Oh yeah, another thing to mention in regards to purple coins. Uh, in the wonder sections, there are small purple coins that basically count for 0.1 purple coin each. Um, and uh, you can collect them throughout the wonder section, and once you finish the wonder section, uh, that number truncates, um, so it rounds down to the nearest whole number, which is really fun if you get to 0.9 purple coins and then finish the wonder section because you get none of them, uh, and it'll just round it back down, um, which yeah, leads to some really anno annoying moments given that each purple coin, uh, according to math, is about 1.7 seconds in this category, based on the way that we grind coins at the end. So uh, it is actually a decent time loss if uh, if you miss a lot of them. Yep. So basically, if you see me get 0 0.0, you put Pog in the chat. If you see 0.9, you laugh. Okay? That's how it works. <laughs> I'll Pog anyways. I'll do it. 0.9, Pog, time loss. <laughs> Love to see it. Shout out to 0.9 gang. 0.9 gang, 0.9 gang. 0.9 gang indeed. Hilarious emote, by the way, on 7TV. <laughs> yeah, we've we've already got quite a few emotes in regards to this category. We also have incredible, uh, which is what you get if you miss the top of the flagpole by a little bit. Oh no! Uh, and yeah, we have used that on more than one occasion, unfortunately. <laughs> getting not getting oh, the, not getting the top is the worst because you have to play the entire level again. It's just it, it that's a good chance it'll happen this one because it's it's super easy sometimes. Some flagpole grabs are also quite difficult. So yeah, yeah we'll see. There's a there's a clip from about a week ago of uh, Silo being an hour into an 100% run, grabbing just below the top of the flagpole and instantly closing the game without saying anything. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a great it's, play. it's rough. Oh, no. It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> oh yeah. But it's fine. Also, yeah, if you haven't seen this game at all, uh, badges. Badges are interesting. They give uh, you you can equip one at a time, and they give you special ability. We just got the first one, which is the parachute cap. And with this one, we can like glide in the air and just short off it for a bit. Like that. What am I doing? That's not cutscene enough. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna get one uh, special badge later, and we're, get, we're basically gonna use that one throughout the whole run. And it, guess, it would make well, sense why. Well, we're on the topic of badges. We could talk about the other completionist category that this game has, which is all badges, which is essentially 100% without the standees um, due to the RNG that they bring into the run. So it's a bit more of a uh, more airtight category in terms of luck. Right, hoppos. Hoppos are probably my least favorite enemies in the game. They're uh, very annoying when you hit them. And this level is also hard. I gotta agree with that myself too, I hate hoppers casually. Uh, <laughs> meant to kick that hopper in the other direction, that's okay. Hi. 
and the worst part is this is not the only level that has hoppos. Yeah, a few more. Not even in World One. <laughs> nope. Oh no. I'll actually get this, I think. This is actually quite slow, it seems, and you would be right, but this also gets two purple coins, so it's not that bad. And I also get my elephant back, so that's nice. Because there's actually a secret exit coming up where we need the elephants, so I don't want to risk uh, losing them both. So having one and having one as a backup is always nice at the beginning. Oh, I actually need to show you some movement there, Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> I just yo, realized. Yo, Silo, you suck. There's a way to get more purple coins there. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. I'm ready to get down. <laughs> is there like an estimation of how many purple coins you need for the entire run? Um, so I think for the standees alone, it's like 4,000 something. Jeez. Is that it? Is that it? Leo's gone. Something? May, may, oh wait, is it my internet? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Nah, yeah, it's Silos. Fritz box exploded. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Uh, it'll be an internet issue. Almost definitely. Hmm. I guess so, yeah. Potentially, yeah. Yeah, we're we're gonna be back in a little bit. Seems like uh, our runner here had, had a little internet issue. Hopefully, we're back soon. Be right back. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, let's get back into the run. Uh, let's just go. Let's just go into yeah. it. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Yeah, sorry about that. We had some. I I had some. Internet issues right there. That's my my bad. Right. Nothing we can do about it. It's out of control. It's all good. Oh, we're back, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Yeah. All right. We just finished the most interesting level in the game, Hurry Hurry, which is just running forwards. I know you didn't see much of it, but it was. And now. Congrats on the world record in that level. Oh yeah, uh, I got it. <laughs> Tied with like a hundred other people probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first Wiggler race. And there's an interesting mechanic actually about this one. Generally the Wigglers uh, rubber, rubber band a lot, so it doesn't really matter what time you finish the race. That's not the case for this one, so we have this actually a strat where we slow down and then these flowers will give you a star because you're behind Wiggler. And then we go ahead of him very fast. And that actually saves uh, like half a second and gives us one extra purple coin. So it's worth. Worth. Basically two seconds. Yep. Oh, yeah, I guess uh, another thing to mention while we're on the overall map, we actually blasted straight past the shop, even though we had the purple coins for it. We do need the seed from that shop, uh, but we do need to come back later to buy some things from that shop, so we just do it then instead. Exactly. There's a. There's also, you might have noticed that I skipped um, over quite a few levels uh, already in World 1. And that's just because we are waiting for a different batch and some other power ups. That would speed up those levels. Yeah, we're basically on a B line to uh, Jet Run currently. Yep. We will explain Jet Run once we are there. Which is right. Yeah. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay, we get to see the first castle of the game, 14 seats to unlock it. We'll get a lot more than what we need before we actually do that that palace. 
And here, Borsch Express, the first level with where we do the secret exit. It is kind of an auto thriller, um, so there's not much too much to do. But we definitely want to keep our elephant because we actually need it to get the secret exit itself. And that was a huge like difficulty spike for me, like right at the start of the game, trying to get the elephant the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's 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 so difficult the first time you do this. It was this. already hard yeah. to just get through this at all. And then having elephant on hand as well is just tough. A lot. But it's possible. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, this this level is deceptively hard for an auto scroll though. <laughs> Alright, um first character block of the run, I think. And that's two purple coins extra for free. Or well, not for free, but a bit of time loss, but they're definitely worth. And we're gonna see a lot more of those throughout the run. Nice How the hidden blocks work, the character blocks, is they are only visible if you use that character uh, of that block. So that one was a, I think it was a Yoshi block of some kind. So you would yeah. actually see that block if you used Yoshi. So part of, part of routing this game was just to figure out where all the, the character blocks are and to see if the purple coins in them are worth or not. Yeah. Also, for anybody worried, we intentionally didn't get the top of that flagpole there because we will be completing the level again later. And we uh, can yes. just grab the top of the flagpole there instead. It's also easier later. Yeah, for, so, for levels uh, yeah. with secret access, we only need one of them. It doesn't matter if it's the secret fl uh, flagpole or the normal one, we just need one of them uh, to get the top. It's almost like I predicted that chat question. <laughs> <laughs> Prophecy. They'll know in a few seconds. <laughs> Very interesting wonder effect coming up right here. Uh, usually we are like uh, very long, but we just mostly crouch and uncrouch sometimes to get some purples. But otherwise it's just easier to move around when you're crouched other than being uh, very tall. Yeah, it's a wonder seed. Yeah, we do we do see this wonder effect uh, in a later level, and it is much harder there, but we'll yes. cross that bridge when we get to it. That level sucks. <laughs> <laughs> is that the uh, special ward level? I know. It's the, it's uh, the palace is... in World 2. Yeah, World 2 palace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an absolute pain. Nah, if I have it myself, I, I feel you. We're probably gonna see lots of levels that you all might have struggled with during your playthrough. I'm just gonna fly through them, and hopefully I'm not gonna struggle too much with them. <laughs> it should be like, I'm sure it'll be fine. Surely, yeah. surely, surely. Also, here's the other hopper level we were talking yeah, about. This one's mm. a little bit more fun now. It's also harder though. Yeah, that's true. It's the vertical hopper level. How can platforms like this do, do this? Like they just have like it's mostly like horizontal for the whole game. They have like a, a random vertical level that's really hard for no reason. I'm, I'm about that personally. Yeah. Especially in a speedrunning sense, like you're doing a lot right here, but it's so cool. <laughs> yeah, this level's movement is really cool. Also, going to be a small skip coming up. Uh, first of all, this one you can just like wall jump, ground pound to grab this. When you ground pound, your hitbox gets shifted upwards a bit, so that's how we got that coin. And then at the end here, you usually want to push a hoppo into this upcoming gap. But if we just time a jump well enough, we can just grab that wall and wall jump upwards. And yes, we can infinite climb, infinite climb uh, one wall with parachute cap. I know, crazy. I can't believe we managed to go that long without mentioning it. Yeah, true. <laughs> that was a, that was the long phase of the Wonder Discord where. <laughs> we had come, uh, new people coming in every 10 minutes saying, Oh my god, you guys, did you know we can climb one wall with parachute cap? And yes, <laughs> it actually, yes, everyone knows that. <laughs> it, actually, it actually became the description <laughs> of the discoveries category. It just says, yes, we know you can climb with the parachute cap. <laughs> <laughs> what that is. That's something I even knew casually, what the yeah. heck? That seems pretty obvious <laughs> almost, to me. <laughs> almost everyone figured that, that one out by themselves. I'm impressed that you got all those mini coins without taking damage. Uh, yeah. 
if you get every, was, was, if you get every single bit in the section, you get an extra flower coin. So, and the the hardest ones are the ones that are gonna surround this big hoppo. Because you can easily just miss one or get pushed away from the hoppo and you're just screwed. I'm gonna try to get yeah. all of them. Then get a well-timed bounce. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ooh, clean. And then get the yeah, one get... as early as possible. If you get bounced there, it's over. You are not getting the coins. Also, one, another thing, uh, if you ground pound the pipes, um, you have a faster animation. So in most uh, vertical pipes, like going down pipes, it's better to ground pound into them. Yeah. Still that from Odyssey. Yep. The pipe sucks. And now, into Jetrun. Oh boy, what is Jetrun? Oh yeah! <laughs> um, yeah, this Jetrun is a new badge. And with Jetrun we have, I think it's 1.25 or 1.5 of your normal speed. And you 1. also- 1.25 I think. Oh, yeah, and you also instantly accelerate to it. And you can run off ledges and still jump for a very long time, like, like this. And this is useful in Lots of places, basically every level, just because the speed and some strats you can do uh, using these, this, um, like, what is it called? Coyote time, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coyote frames. And yeah, also avoiding the checkpoint there and the power up, because it's just a small animation when you get a power up, so if you can avoid it and don't need it, then it's faster. Yeah, the, the badge levels start you off as your small form, and you don't keep power-ups out of it. So we just avoid them at all costs. Exactly. All right. But yeah, Jet Run basically turns your character into a missile, and we will be using it for, like, 90% of the levels for the rest of the run. Yep. There are some cool strats, though. Like, and, and very different strats as well. So it's not just, yeah. like, very, very... It's not like, just one thing. You do in every level. It's very different kinds of strats everywhere using Jetron. I'm gonna see those later. Yeah, playing this game with other badges and playing this game with Jetron is like playing a completely different game. It's crazy. It completely changes your playstyle. Badge, yeah, because like every time I see someone run this game before, they're always always using that badge there. Meanwhile, I never use it casually. <laughs> it's it's it makes, oh yeah. The one thing I it's the tricky. one thing I didn't even mention about Jetron is you cannot stop. You cannot stop running. Yeah. So I'm always moving with Jetron, and that's why it's so hard to control. Here we have the first uh, skips like that. Nice. And that's, that is the first special world level. One unfortunate thing with the special world levels is that you can't do them in one go. You always have to do them in the specific world. Because you can't access them from anywhere else. So yeah, we finish this one now and now we go back to clearing the normal world 1 levels. Also, you saw me go out of my way again there for a hidden block for two purple coins. It does cost like three seconds, maybe a bit less, two, two to three, but it's worth for sure. One nice thing about this game is you can warp to any level, um, and that just makes the traveling throughout the whole world very nice. And uh, next batch challenge, next batch we unlock here is wall climb jump. Is used like one or two times throughout the run again after this. Otherwise, we're not gonna see too much of it. Yeah, its applications are pretty conditional. There are some vertical sections, vertical levels where uh, this badge is good, but. If you have jet run, you have jet run, you know? That's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Gotta use the fast one. Exactly. Oh, yeah. oh. Going into the swamp section of wood one. And... Oh, please. 
Oh, we actually get the purple coin. Okay. That, que that overworld quest map block actually isn't guaranteed to even have a purple coin. Uh, in most runs, you, you actually just get a normal coin, but I got lucky there. I love RNG. We actually don't know if it is RNG. There might be something different to it. We don't know everything about this game just yet. Yeah. Cool looking shot oh, for this room. <laughs> you haven't seen it before. And it's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you literally <laughs> just hold like right and B. And that will just happen. <laughs> and now the wonder seeds. The wonder seed. With the moving moving pipes. That's a cycle here I need to grab, get at the end. So I cannot lose too much time. Come on. Oh that's not good. Oh okay. We're gonna, we're en entering <laughs> vertical pipes <laughs> challenge. <Yep. laughs> you might you, you're, yeah, you're also gonna see me like every time when I Try not to move too much. I start crouching, and that way it's much easier to control uh, Jedron because you don't just go flying everywhere. Also, yeah, I missed yeah. the cycle. You can get one pipe further ahead, but yeah. also struggling to struggling to get into vertical pipes is funnily enough called Sido pipes. So <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Oh no! <laughs> Wonder why it's named that. Yep. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, jet, jet Run very much is speed at what cost? It's speed at the cost of precision in a lot of cases. Oh, yeah. It's uh, it's very hard to control. First K Arena. How about you go into those for a bit, Kyle? What these are about? I, I honestly really like these levels. Maybe it's because of the IGT, and I'm uh, I'm just an IGT nerd. But uh, yeah, these levels are basically um, levels where you just have to fight a bunch of enemies. There's usually three to four rooms uh, filled with usually a specific enemy every time. So this is Goombas. Um, and then once you've killed all the enemies, the door opens up and you can go into the next area. Um, one interesting caveat, uh, or two interesting caveats about these is that one, the purple coins are given to you based on your time, your IGT at the end. Um, so you do actually have to beat these at speed, which Silo is clearly having no issue with um, since the goals are kind of intended for a casual player rather than a speedrunner. But um, yeah, also at the start of these levels, um, you can get whatever power-ups you want um, from the pipes in the beginning. Uh, and those do keep after the level. So sometimes we'll actually use these KO arenas to get specific power-ups that we will use in future levels. Um, and yeah, you can see the purple coins at the end there. Silo beat the hardest I, I one by that. over double. <laughs> I barely got it. Almost, almost yeah. missed the coin. Very close. I only had 40 <laughs> seconds left. Here we go. Yeah, that's the long and short of the KO arenas. And in my opinion, the KO arenas are actually one of the hardest levels in the game. All of them. To do optimally. Also very easy to lose your power up, which is very annoying. Exactly. You want the, the power up for a future level because there's a strat with it there, and then you just lose it and you're sad. Happens. Yeah, so the, the KO arenas giveth and they take up the way. <laughs> we actually want to keep our elephant here. That's okay, that was good. That was terrifying. <laughs> Next, uh, next song of the game, banger number two. What is it even called? I don't even know. Spiky dance number. Except, lot of spikes everywhere. Yeah, the reason we want elephant here is we can actually get an early seed grab at the end. Uh, using the big elephant hitbox because the elephant hitbox is a lot taller than anything else and there are some um, early wonder grabs that you can do with it one of the misses in this level oh, yeah. 
Also, you might have you might have thought that I could could have gone way earlier there to get the seed, but it's actually just it's only grabbable once the platform all raised raised all the way up. So I had to wait a little bit there. Yeah, yeah, that's angry spikes. Also, yeah, I guess we could talk about characters real quick. I saw a question in chat about it because yep. we uh we did we did have a poll based on characters, which chat chose Luigi. Um, the seven characters, the seven main characters, are functionally indistinguishable from each other, except from uh, what we mentioned earlier about the character blocks. Um, also, yeah, we're quickly entering a pipe here to go to a secret area with Caps and Toad, who gives us 50 purple coins. So that's obviously very helpful for this category. Um, anyway, back to my tangent. Uh, so there are invisible character blocks that will appear if you are playing as a specific character and will become tangible, so you can stand on them even if you haven't hit them yet. Uh, so that's the only real difference between the seven main characters. Um, and then those there are the Yoshis and Nabbit. The Yoshis we don't use in the speedrun except for an age scent, but Nabbit is used in the speedrun um, purely because of his in invincibility, um, which is helpful for some levels that are very hard near the end. Oh my god, using Nabbit is cheating. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't get me started no, on the, the, started. Uh, the arguments I had in the one to this card. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can you can use any character you want, it is allowed. Uh, and you might think, well, if Nabbit is invincible, why don't you just use him for the whole run? The problem is that Nabbit and Yoshi can't use any power-ups. And there are lots of coins and, I don't know, just general things in the game that require power-ups to beat it and get the collectible. So every time for that, we would need to switch back, get a different character, and switch back to Nabbit. It would it just wouldn't be fast at that point to use Nabbit at all, and just it's just faster to use a character, any character that isn't Nabbit or Yoshi throughout the whole run. Yeah, yeah. Switching on and off takes about five seconds a piece, so it's about ten seconds to switch on and off. Um, and even like for instance, the secret exit in this level could not be done as Nabbit because you need the elephant to break the blocks. So, yeah, that's just one instance of hundreds where we need to play as one of the main characters to use a power-up. So the only the only section where we use Nabbit is at the very end, where we don't need any power-ups and it's just faster to use Nabbit. It's not even for like safety or anything like that, it's just because there's some fast strats using invincibility. Yeah. <clears throat> First Palace. Uh, actually, a big fan of this one. There's a nice cycle skip. Oh, that's not so nice. Okay, not grabbing that coin either, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Plus two seconds. <laughs> oh, lord. Okay. It's going just flawlessly. <laughs> It's not good, we can grab, yeah, that cup elephant there. And yeah, this is probably one of the hardest wonder sections, I would say. Um, so, uh, it's, a, it's, not, mean, it's not free, but it's also not insane. This is yeah. the hardest part, but I got it. Yeah, getting under that, because you get crushed if you don't make it. Yeah, that one is, that Very one is tight. Same with that one. Looks a lot. I, I see why it's so difficult now. Yeah, it looks a lot tighter than it is, but um, definitely needs some practice to uh, pull off. Yeah, and those will kill you if they crush you. Like they they just slowly degrade your power ups, but you take damage basically every frame that isn't the uh, the damage animation. So you are pretty much dead if that thing lands on your head. The Battle Junior fight is truly the most interesting boss fight of the game. <laughs> That's a little tech here. If, you, mean, if you bounce Battle Junior five times here, you actually get him out of the shell early. That's a nice strat, I guess. Hmm. And then for the last hit, uh, we're going to use a ground pound, which counts for two hits and then a normal jump for the third hit. And that is most of World 1 done. For now. 
This is everything but the secret exit in the shop. Uh, and a few levels that we haven't done yet. Oh, I completely missed that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done the the bull rush the bull rush level at the beginning yet. And that's like a that's like oh, yeah. a that's like also a, a section at the top where you need to remove a rock to get to. We also haven't done that section of world one yet. Hmm. This is uh, probably the most annoying part of the run. Uh, after every, uh, yeah, royal seed collection, every after every palace, a pretty there's a pretty good amount of cutscenes. But otherwise, there's not too much in this game, so we can live with it. Yeah, especially in long categories like this, the cutscenes aren't the majority of the runtime. Okay. Always good. That ones there are a lot of a lot of cut in the beginning, but those are skippable. These ones aren't. It's unfortunate. Would be nice. It's mainly because there's a lot of dialogue here as well that we have to skip through. Would you say during long cuts like this might be a good time for chat to ask oh, me yeah, questions? For sure. Go for a chat. We got any chats? I say go for it. Throw them at us. Who's your favorite Mario chats? I like Luigi. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think my favorite, like, I know Mario is fastest for this category, but Mario is lame, right? True. I like I like Luigi because I come from from Galaxy speedrunning, and Luigi's used there. Uh, but otherwise, in this game, I actually really enjoyed Odette. Yeah. Oh, that's always cool. Yeah, I also use Luigi for my casual playthrough. And like Sila said, as Galaxy speedrunners, we are Luigi enjoyers. <laughs> yeah, I, I Luigi, use Bluetooth myself. <laughs> a few more text boxes here. Gonna get a free seat from this Poplin house. I honestly don't even read the text, I don't know what they say. They're like, ooh, the prince, here's a seed. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty much it. It's, it's not much more than that. Yeah, here's exposition. I, I play in Japanese, so I have no idea what they say. That's also something we haven't brought up yet, but I guess that's more for World 5. Um. Yeah, we can bring it up now, I guess. Basically... Yeah. Uh, actually, you could do that. Can do. Um, so yeah, the, as far as we're aware, uh, the fastest language for this category is Japanese, like it is with many speed games. It's actually not because of the text though, uh, it's because of the voice lines in the Poplin houses. Um, the little, like, like noises and conversations that they make are apparently actually faster in Japanese, which is a really interesting caveat. Um, there are some text box differences, but I'm not even sure if those favor Japanese. Um, but yeah, as far as we're aware, Japanese is the fastest language for this game. But uh, in World 5, in Taylor's Toxic Pond, there is a quiz that you need to do for a Wonder Seed. Um, and obviously, it's best to play in a language that you understand. Um, and as Silo speaks English and German, German is almost always slower than English, so we're playing in English. Yeah. Also, I'm That's not crazy. even sure if I could do it in German. I probably could, but <laughs> I don't know like the names of the words and stuff like that. So yeah, That's that also sometimes. True. Yeah, the questions in that quiz are random. So basically, yeah. learn Japanese skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> and some some of the questions in that quiz are really fun. Like, how many Goombas have you stomped? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah we, oh, we were no. God. we were counting <laughs> for the last three hours. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, no. there's one question in that quiz where it asks you how many Goombas you have killed, and <laughs> obviously we don't count the Goombas, so we just guess and hope it works. How is someone gonna figure that out, anyways? <laughs> And there's an uh, NPC uh, that tells you how many humans you killed, but yeah. it's, obviously, it's not worth talking to, uh, to him. And not know that, that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> that's the next badge. We, we kind of just glossed over it. But this is the Dolphin Kick badge, basically the, the water level badge. Because, uh, yeah, we use... We, we, Jetron doesn't do anything for underwater, and this obviously speeds us up.
in the hidden block right here. When you have a star, you actually have kind of a coin magnet, so I don't have to get uh, too close to those blocks, uh, to those purple coins. Also grabbing fire here to get an extra flower coin, and also this next section is very hard to do damageless with elephants. This one. And I still mess it up without it. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah. How many Goomas have you stomped on? How many breads have you eaten in your life? That's basically <laughs> how it feels, yeah. Yeah. It's just a question that you would never know the answer to. Maybe, maybe we should get a live split counter. Every time you kill a Goomba, you just increment it. <laughs> the, the, the peak of Wanda 100% speedrunning. I think in the any percent run, they actually do count Goombas. I guess, it's, the quiz. I guess it's easier with a shot yeah, much shorter category. Is. I mean, we do that level in like four hours in almost, like three and a half hours in. Yeah. I mean, I guess there's probably, there's probably a ballpark that you're normally within. Like if you average out the, uh, the answers, you can probably work out what it should be. It's, it's usually around 30, but yeah, we, yeah. Don't, we don't know. Sometimes it's always, it almost feels like the game is, is like trolling you. Like, how have I killed 40 Goomas that run, but 20 in the other? Like, there's no way. <laughs> it's, it's it, just that, that has happened before. I think the game honestly <laughs> just lied sometimes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can be asked about the seats. Uh, you can be, can be asked about how many seats you have in World 5 in the quiz. Yeah. But I mean, we will see what kind of questions we get later. For now... Um, Robert Cove. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's important to mention that you don't fail the quiz instantly if you get a question wrong. You just have to answer another question. It's not that bad. Yeah, it was like 5 seconds. Yeah. But still annoying when you when you get the Goomba question. <laughs> yeah, well record pace. First question. How many Goombas? <laughs> well, minus five. <laughs> nice. That's a flower coin in this block, so we're gonna backtrack a bit for that. Then I intentionally have this elephant in my um, in my pocket in my backup power up slot uh, because it's going to be used in this wonder section coming up to save a few seconds. We love 100%. We really do. All right, so there's this magic flower that we activate over here. And it takes a long time to actually get to its destination. So in the meantime, we can start destroying these uh, bricks and then actually make our way to the Wonder Seed. It's gonna spawn right here. And now we can use this bottom path, which is faster without slowing down at all. Love when that happens. Try to grab as many flower bits here as possible. Nice. How tight is the flower coin routing? It's actually very tight. Uh, so, in early runs of this game, or honestly, since like a week ago, we always grinded like 300 flower coins at the end of the run, which is around, oh god, like 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to do that. But in the last week, Myself and Jay have uh, put a lot of work into routing flower coins into the run, and now we're actually able to skip grinding at all. Uh, like, overall. So, which is, that's nice. That's great, actually. That's a huge time save. <laughs> yeah. And the reason why we even need so many flower coins is coming up now, so how about you, Carl, go into that while I start shopping? Uh, it's time. It's finally time. The standees. 
So, uh, yeah, getting 100% in this game, as I said before, does require getting all 144 standees, which is a great statistical issue in this category. For the fact of, um, you can see Silo is currently buying standees for 10 purple coins. Uh, there is actually a shop in the special world where you can buy a standee for 30, and it guarantees to give you one that you don't already have. Um, so it is basically just gambling in a kids game uh, because we have to decide how many times we want to buy the 10 coins uh, before it becomes statistically unlikely for us to get a new standee within three purchases basically because at that point it obviously would have been better to get the guaranteed standee for 30. Um, so yeah, it, it, it is a bit of a statistical problem which I personally love, but as a speedrunner, I'm not a huge fan. Um, but yeah, that is the reason why the uh, the all badges category exists that I mentioned earlier, which is basically just 100% without the standees, which Silo does hold the world record for. Um, because yeah, this is a very annoying uh, amount of there's a very annoying amount of luck involved uh, in standees, and it can genuinely make or break a uh, a good run. Um, with the uh, with the level that 100% is already getting to, so uh, yeah, that's a that's a decent rundown. I think currently uh, the strat is to buy 10 coin standees up to about the 90s, uh, and then we switch to buying the 30s. Um, so yeah, there you go. There's the rundown. That would check out for sure. It's like yeah, I saw you get like four in a row right there. They're just repeats. Yeah. So like it was, already, it was too, actually, that's the worst. It was, it was actually really good RNG until then, and at the end I got a lot of, lot of duplicates. And now it's about average, what I have right now, the amount of sendies. Be like that, I guess. So it's alright. It's not too bad. But yeah, that is the exact reason why there's such an emphasis on purple coins in this category, because like Silo said earlier, it's about 4,000 purple coins that we spend on standees. It's crazy. Well, dupe, someone counted. Yeah, that's uh, not great. <laughs> oh, about average. I mean, it, it, it could always be worse. I, had, I have 47 standees right now, which is actually one standee ahead of my PB. Um, but I've had runs where I had 43. I've also had runs where I had 51. So it can vary a lot. Yeah, I'm genuinely convinced that odds are not actually in your favor with Sandy's. Like, it is not fair at all. Like, getting 12 dupes when you still have, like, 100 to go. I, I can't do the math in my head, but that's not fair. <laughs> that there, is my there, statistical there, we opinion. don't exactly know how Sandy's work as well, the RNG. Because it isn't, uh, it isn't uh, equally likely for every Sandy uh, to get it. Um, getting the rare ones is very rare early on and gets a lot more common later. But unfortunately, we don't have the information right now how exactly it works. So right now, we just basically assume that buying around two thirds of the standees with the random ones um, will, will, will work out fine. And it has so far, but there might be something more optimal. Thank you. Trying to find out which standee it was. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> red, red crouching Yoshi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. This I've, also had, a I've also had a run before um, where I bought my first standee and the second standee I bought was a duplicate. Oh my god. Was <laughs> hilarious. I don't want to yeah. know the odds of that, but it's very unlikely. <laughs> Yeah. That's that a knowledge you don't need to know for sure. Just just for your own sake. <laughs> I mean yeah. technically like let's say there's like one in a hundred for every stand I know it's wrong, but probably less, but you know yeah, if one in a hundred times one in a hundred is like one in ten thousand. <laughs> just, yeah. just saying. <laughs> if Nintendo were nice to us, that would be the odds, but it's probably much more likely than that. But uh, yeah, what I was talking about before, there was a clip of Silos uh, where he got the exact same duplicate twice. Was it twice in a row or was it three times? Yeah, it was twice in a row. Yeah, it, was it was twice in a row, then two other ones, and then I got the thing again. And it was a red crouching Yoshi Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> I was so mad. Yeah. I was so mad at the red crouching Yoshi. <laughs> God.
Hearing you scream, red crouching Yoshi, with the most despair in your voice was the funniest part of that day. <laughs> and are we gonna hiccup again? Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> no, we not again. So we were doing so well. No. Aaron, <laughs> hold out. <laughs> Ah, heck. All right, well, uh, I guess we're going to cut to a break real quick. Uh, Salazar Nets not, co not cooperating at the moment. So hopefully it's good for the rest of the run. But yeah, that's, that's what I guess we, we got to do this for now. So uh, yeah, st stick around, everybody, and we'll be back in just a little bit. Welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Had a small break uh, for reasons. <laughs> yeah. Had some issues again. Hopefully it stops. Hopefully it's the last of it. We'll we'll see what happens, of course. But let's let's only hope. But yeah, going into World Two, the fluff Park peaks, and the first level is out my way. Jetron and Bubble are quite powerful here. We haven't really talked about Bubble just yet. So maybe Kyle, take it away. Can do. Yeah, this is where we begin to see the how overpowered the Bubble power-up is. Um, so if you saw during the trailers for this game, we actually kind of realized that this would be a thing uh, before the game even came out. Um, you can bounce off of the Bubbles in this game. Um, it's an intended mechanic. Um, and it's we're, we're still not sure, we're, we're kind of wondering uh, if the devs intended for us to be able to bounce off of the bubbles one after another infinitely, um, which is a pretty overpowered tech that we use to skip some pretty big portions of levels. Because um, yeah, we can literally just ride the bubbles uh, for as long as we want to. Um, one of the levels that this will first be really seen in is Jump Jump Jump, which is in the middle of World 2. Um, but even before then, you will see many uses, even in the previous level, um, and you'll probably see some in this one as well, uh, of the bubble. Even if we're just bouncing on it once, yeah, it sometimes allows us to scale slightly larger objects without slowing down at all. Um, so yeah, it is a very useful power-up and a very useful tech that comes along with it. Something I, something I did there is I actually recollected a 10 purple coin. And it would be nice if it actually gave you 10 coins again, but it unfortunately doesn't. It only gives you 3, but in some cases it's still worth to do it. Yeah, okay. based on the rough math, 3 coins is about 5.1 seconds. So if grabbing a 10 coin for a second time takes less time than that, it is worth it. Indeed. I've level with the secret exit here, so I didn't do the wonder seed in the first go, th uh, go through of this level. Now I will, and including the secret exits. Yep, no more flagpole gone. Bye bye. <laughs> so once again, this is actually a pretty tough section to get all the small flower bits in. Especially since we kind of have an auto scroller and we have jet runs, so we're kind of just like crouch around, jumping around, trying to not move too much. You're gonna see me do that all over when I'm in the auto scrollers. There we go, got all bits. Now, early seed grab maybe. Okay, I didn't want to ground pound, but that might work still. There we go. And yeah, we're way done. Yeah, we already got the top of the flagpole in the previous iteration of the level, so we didn't need it there. Coming up one of the shortest levels. Just a uh, break time ticket. We just gotta uh, defeat one of those ticket enemies who kick the ice blocks and that's it. Yeah, it's a very fast level. It's kind of a blink and you'll miss it kind of deal. Oh wow, okay, there we go. <laughs> That's it, yep. I did actually really? I did actually delay the Wonder Seed grab for a bit to get an extra purple. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. Here we go. Pokepeed Pass. This is a it's an alright level. It's uh I like it. Yeah, it's it's got some interesting movement to it, and then like a really interesting wonder section in terms of the movement that we do before the wonder section. But yeah, we'll get to that in a sec. The reason why I grab elephant here is because with elephant you destroy the the, the snow blocks much easier than with anything else because you could just run through them basically or swipe them away. Also, you saw that we actually ran a lot further into the level before coming back and grabbing the Wonder Seed, and that's because this Pokepeed that's about to come onto the screen, that one, uh, the reason we go so far right is to spawn that Pokepeed in earlier than it's intended to spawn in. Because, um, yeah, if we had to wait the whole time for the Pokepeed to get around, it would take forever. So, uh, yeah. It's not bad. Pokepeed actually, one of my, one of my top levels, actually, I actually didn't like it at the beginning, but with the movement we currently have, I actually like it quite a lot. Yeah, I think I'm a Pokepeed passenger. It's a cool level. Now, what I'm not a fan of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this level is very rough. It, it's completely based on cycles, five second cycles uh, at the end of the level. Um, which, yeah, led me to a, a great deal of frustration in one of the shorter categories for this game, because I managed to save four seconds on my movement, but I couldn't save the last second, so I was forced to lose five instead. Um, which, yeah, is a really annoying caveat of the, of the cycles in this level, although thankfully it is very fast, and uh, it does get us a lot of purple coins. So, you know, you can't have everything. But yeah, Silo making it basically right on cycle there, and then there's a cool little bit of movement, Oh my god, that oh, was impressive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I, I would not have made that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's, that jump up to that last coin is, can be tricky sometimes. I timed my, my wall jump a little bit too early. Thank you. And uh, yeah, but it still works somehow. Somehow. That level actually was like really frustrating for lots of people casually. Like, the ending section is actually quite hard. Yeah, and uh, speaking of levels that were frustrating ca casually. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the search like parties. Search party levels. <laughs> Obviously, for us, it's not a big deal, but as a casual, you always have to like look for hidden blocks and like. It's ridiculous. You you have it doesn't give you any like hints or anything like that. You just gotta look for them, jump in random places, hope you find them. Yeah, if you played this game casually, you probably had a bad experience with at least one of these levels. <laughs> yeah, there was one that took me like twenty minutes, I think. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. this one? But was, I think it was, I think it's one after this. This one, I actually had to come back to this one later on because I could not well, find this one. This, this yeah, one. this this. Oh, that block, it's just, it's just there. That it, <laughs> That's it's weird, it's a weird spot. <laughs> so unreasonable. <laughs> yeah. right, that was... Alright, I guess. All right. You also saw um, the KO arenas and the, some of the church parties have like pipe spawners which spawn like mushrooms or power-ups. Unfortunately those do not give flower coins when you grab them, so they're useless. Yeah, it'd be a little bit overpowered if we could just sit there and farm purple coins. Grabbing back bubble because of course. Going to the second coin, the sub area. Not too much going on here. Just gotta make sure to grab these flower coins on the way, and then not ground pond too early at the end and miss the ten coin, which has happened to me before. And then you have to reset the level because you can only enter that section once. Come on. 
Nice little strat here. Hope I get it. Ah. Oh. If you bounce on that bird, you can basically bounce immediately into the Wonder Flower, but it's it's tough. Yeah, also a really annoying caveat of this level is that this wonder section is on a global cycle, which means everything you do in the level up to this point decides what this part of the level looks like, which is half of the reason why Silo took damage there. Mm. And yeah, we intentionally wait here because of this combat I'm, at the end. Oh, it actually worked so. You got so lucky. <laughs> yeah, I, I, like, I got caught on the corner and was slowing down a bit, but it's, it still worked somehow. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, basically that condard at the end uh, will only stay on the right hand side if it's heading that way when you come up to it. Uh, so we wait in the previous section a little bit to give the condard time to be on a good position in its cycle. Uh, and it saves us actually way more time than you'd think. Because uh, if it hits the wrong part of those blocks, you actually lose about five seconds. It's crazy. Which Holy almost I, happened. I would have thought it was more. <laughs> it might actually be more than five seconds. That was a generous estimate. It's yeah. very bad. So glad that didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next shop coming up. No Stanley buying here. We don't have a lot of coins right now. So it's not really worth buying more. The next Sandy shopping is going to be in World 3. Where we have more coins again. Yeah. Right, Pole Block has an interesting vertical section at the beginning, which is kind of tough. Uh, to, per to pull off using that run, but here it goes. Yeah, this level has some really interesting movement. This is actually, I was talking about this level before we, uh, before we started the show, uh, while the character voting was going on, because there is a, a, a Luigi block in the next section of this level that has blocked and it was on multiple occasions. <laughs> see if we'll see I, it. I think I can actually do a fast strat uh, using that, though. This. Yeah, that block there. Oh, it's inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can only yeah. do that. I could only do that ground pound because I'm playing at Luigi. Otherwise, I would have to hit that block from the bottom. I'll say, yeah, climbing past that Cooper is as tight as it looks. I've tried it. <laughs> That's annoying. Yeah, these uh, these pole sections can be slightly annoying because of uh, the D-pad design on the Pro Controller. It's very easy to press the wrong directional input uh, just because of the way the D-pad is designed. Um, it's really easy to kind of roll your thumb up and down even if you're like trying to press right or left. Uh, and you'll just grab the pole when you don't intend to. Also, yeah, that's one of the scariest Ooh. pole grabs in the game. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I thought you missed that for a second. I got a little scared. <laughs> Always works until it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. There are some more of those. Actually, in World 2, there's another one that is kind of scary. Actually, two more that are scary. Uh, a bit later in the, in the world. Get to those though. We'll get to those later. Uh, cloud cover, uh, cloud cover is uh, a quick one. There are three flower coins here that are kind of out of the way, but I'll still grab them because they're barely worth. I think if you don't miss that token. Oh Jesus! Whoa. Okay. I'll say one thing to mention here, we do intentionally leave the bottom one for the end because the camera will pan down to the Wonder Seed and then pan back up to you. So grabbing the bottom one last actually saves a few seconds over grabbing the top one last. Alright, so, uh, bubble yeah. jumps, shall we? <laughs> yeah, this is the level I was talking about. <laughs> You'll see the, the true power of this power-up. Yeah. Uh, okay, I need to. Yeah, I need to wait now. Yeah, but yeah, doing doing that alone and then playing the rest of the level normally saves 11 seconds based on cycles. It's kind of crazy. 
I actually That's missed one cycle here. Yeah. Uh, because I got caught on the platform and couldn't catch it anymore, but... Um, better than dying, also skipping a bit of the end here. Yeah. But yeah. It's you can so actually broken. save another, like, 8 seconds on that, what I just did. To get one more cycle. But that's okay. Didn't die. Yeah, there's a... Uh, I've seen a video by uh, Ryuka on Twitter, where I think he touches, like, 3 platforms total in that level. It's crazy. You just spend like 90% of it in the air. Yippee! Okay. For those who've played Mario Galaxy, uh, <laughs> you will not like this power up. <laughs> the, the spring power up, or the spring badge in this case. God, it's also not good in this game. It's also annoying in this game, but funnily enough, we do use it in two levels uh, further on this run, which is kind of funny. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the second usage. I know one of them. <laughs> what are you thinking of? Uh, the switch challenge. The time to switch challenge. Oh, yeah. Uh, the second one is in World 4. The... The... Where you usually use, like, use crouch jump or spin. Ah, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I forgot what yeah, it's called. Uh, raise the stage. Yeah, raise the stage. Yeah, but both of those levels are pretty short, and the only reason why Spring is good because the one is a vertical, vertical platform level. Um, like, yeah, like getting height fast is pretty important there, and you can actually do that pretty well with Spring. And it is deceptively hard, though. <laughs> yeah, and the other one is just because we don't have a better power up to do that stage. Uh, yeah, this one I think. One of the hardest levels casual, I would say. And it's still tough in the speedrun. Yeah, thankfully, Jetrun helps us out a little bit here, because we can grab the purple coins a lot faster without falling off of the cycle. Um, but yeah, this might be like top 10 most complained about levels in this game. I've seen so many clips of people struggling with it. Yeah, I struggled hard with it casually too, especially while trying to get all the, uh, the 10 coins as well at the same time. Yeah. There's a few of them that are really, like, really tight. <laughs> At the end of the day, a skill issue. He <laughs> <laughs> laid the end a little bit because there are extra flower coins that spawn. And yeah. Jetrun for that level is useful and annoying in the same way. Um, as we said, it's hard to get the purple coins and stay on cycle, um, even for speedrunners. So Jetrun really helps uh, to catch up the cycle again. But it's also bad to like control your jumps. And you can easily just miss a wall kick, stuff like that, miss a jump. It's... yeah. It's rough. But, first try. We'll take it. Now this Kaorina, pretty cool when you get it. Very annoying when you miss it. So hopefully I don't lose my elephant here, otherwise we're gonna lose like 20 seconds. Oh yeah, this might be my favorite room in all the KR arenas. Oh, honestly, I'll restart. That's worth, worth the show the strat. <laughs> no, it might even be worth generally because not having elephant is very bad. And yeah, I, it's but... also a good chance that I use my bu bubble as well. Okay, there, there you go. go. Nice. That's annoying, but it's okay. It was a quick restart. Last room is pretty cool as well with elephants. If I don't mess it up. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh, that was so sick. You bang that hammer. Yeah, that was <laughs> close. Okay, it's, a, it's like, it's okay. It's like, yeah, it's like 20 seconds with the restart, but. Yeah, Luigi almost just had a really bad headache. Nice. 
New badge! And we're never gonna use it in the run even once. Besides in the badge challenges. Floating, floating high jump. Uh, we have to stall a little bit at the beginning here because there's this piranha plan in the way. And we also have to grab this mushroom to get the uh, to get this flower coin. Otherwise, you're not tall enough, and you would die also. Gonna grab mushroom again because if you're not big at the end, you're gonna miss these pebbles. And yeah, it should be worth to get the power up again. Quick damage, but not a big deal. Bye bye. Okay, up and coming level is a level where we really want the bubble that I got from the KO arena and also had before. The reason basically why I didn't want to lose elephants or the bubble. And also one of the levels I was talking about that has a scary flag bubble. So hopefully no incredible moment here. I believe. <laughs> in what? <laughs> in you. You got this. Okay, in the wonderful, not in the incredible. I, I, I think this is going to be an incredible puppy lift. No. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't okay. think so. Oh, please. I'm gonna grab a shell. Oh, that's not good. It's fine though. I'm gonna grab a shell here and throw it right here to get the single purple down there. And then if we use Jet Run and one sided wall kicks to get up here. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> yeah, the timing for those is deceptively difficult. Yeah, we talked about the one sided wall kicks for, with parachutes, which are quite easy. The ones with Jet Run are. Very weird. You have to like twirl in specific times, timings. Uh, one more bit, please. Thank you. No point nine today. Yeah, no <laughs> point nine. We don't want that. Okay. Black hole, please. <laughs> Surely not. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I thought I thought you missed the the jump timing because when I did that flagpole, I just used the coyote frames to jump for it. Oh no! But yeah, we don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, I see now. I see, I see now why that was so difficult in the first place. Because <laughs> the lift going down, that's so scary. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's that's like a, a spike ball just rolling. Next to you, and you gotta just jump in time to not lose the height. Mm hmm. What's your favorite thing a flower says? Oh, hmm. Um, I really wonder what you taste like. Oh, God, that's no. My, that's my favorite one. <laughs> that's my least favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> the German version is even worse. It says, You look tasty. <laughs> he goes, Doozies are by lecker. <laughs> it's like, eh? <laughs> yep. I don't like either of those. <laughs> and yeah, first airship of the three. Uh, unfortunately, they are auto scholars. So, in chat, if you have any questions, now's the time. I'd say it's a good time during this portion right here to uh, follow the runner right now, to follow Silo on Twitch. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. We get shout out in the chat from Mon or something. That'd be kind of cool. Now, if you're interested in, in, in Mario Wonder speedrunning, I will be doing more of 100% and doing all badges, so the, the completionist categories, and more in the future. So if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it. And I promise my internet doesn't always die. I promise.
I do like the fire power up in general though, or like the the enemy there. Both are designed, and also just what they do. Yeah. Let's use fire here to trigger one of those like firework enemies early off screen, and then get into this pipe as soon as possible. Ooh. Also, fun kind of non 100% fact, even if you're not grabbing that purple coin, uh, it's actually faster to go in there, uh, regardless, because it scrolls the screen. Um, so the time you spend like loading and going through that section is still faster than just staying in the main area and waiting for the screen to scroll. How long have I been speedrunning? Um, well, Wanda since release, generally since um, end of 2018. I was gonna say, should be 2018. And I started running with uh, Mario Odyssey, actually. And generally, I was I'm also more known as a um, like a 3D Mario runner. But since the release of Wanda, uh, I just tried it and it has been fun. So. We'll definitely been doing more of it. Also, wait, I missed some... I missed a single bit. That's sad. Point nine. Point nine. Point nine gang. Point nine gang. I don't even know which one I missed. That was... <laughs> usually, if you're every single bit there, you get point oh, but... I must have missed some, some something. I don't know. That's fine. So GDQ's noise suppression is currently doing the Lord's work. I don't know if there's a storm going on outside my house right now. It is so windy. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh no. <laughs> Average UK weather. Yeah. <laughs> Just raining and wind. Windy out here too as well, really enough. Like like plants on my, my, my window here, they're just like hitting it basically. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> I'll say, funnily yeah. enough. Oh, okay. You no, go. I was just talking about the the flower flower text people were saying in chat. Uh, I like the in intruder one as well. Intruder. <laughs> that one is nice. Oh yeah. Also, you may have noticed that uh, Silo used the jet run badge for an auto scroller. That's because in the end section, it actually saves probably a few seconds because you can skip past the first cycle before the crusher comes down. So, uh, yeah, it actually does save quite a bit. It is annoying that we have to spend four minutes worth of auto-scroller just going back and forth so that we don't run into something. Um, but it is worth it in the end. Yep. Had to do the auto-scroller with Jetron, um just for the five seconds at the end. The five seconds that weren't auto-scroller. <laughs> yeah. It's all I speed on Mario. Uh, yeah, I mainly do Mario. I've done a bit of Pokemon as well, but not too much. Right, next level. Uh, we actually want bubble in this level uh, because we want bubble for the next level. And there's actually a way to get bubble in this level, even though the normal quest map blocks give elephants, and that is the roulette block. So we have like a setup to consistently get bubble from the roulette block, please. please. Which you're gonna see right after the sub area. If I time this correctly, we should be good. That should work. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just a late ground pound, basically. Oh yeah, there is a uh, there is actually a way to grab this one to seed without uh, killing the Lakitu, but I think it's probably not slower. Uh, it's not faster for Hondo. Uh, but... there's, there's a way of doing it using Elephant and Jetron. Ah, I see. But it's still like super scary and quite yeah. difficult. But yeah, you can uh, you can get down there and grab the Wonder Seed with some uh, some good timing. But yeah, it's not a very RTA viable strat. Yes. That was not too bad. Some smaller mistakes, but that's alright. 
And the whole reason why we even grab bubble is for an auto scroller skip in the next level. Where, what we, where we need bubble. Otherwise we can't do it. Actually we can skip the auto scroller itself without bubble, but we need the bubble to grab a uh, 10 purple coin. Okay. This honestly, I think this is one of the more fun levels to watch for Jet Run. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Given that it's usually mostly an auto scroller, at least I feel like from a casual POV. Yeah, this is Didn't one of the, the other uses of Bubble. Yep. Need that flower. Cool. <laughs> nice. Well done, uh, place Bubble there. We'll be able to skip the Wonder Seed a bit earlier than usual. And then we skip this auto scroller, which doesn't save time of skipping the auto scroller itself. It saves time again for the same reason because the camera pans less towards the Wonder Seed. So we try to get as many power-ups here as possible, but they're not giving it too many right now. One more maybe? Also, scary... Uh, uh, jump scare warning. Scary flag ball coming up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, wanted, I wanted to wait for the elephant, but it dropped too far away. Oh, yeah, very scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is close. Ooh. That one is only possible with elephants um, or bubble. If you're, if you're um, any uh, any other power up, you can't make it just like that. All right. Next shop. Buying just the badges and the siege, and that badge that we just bought, the safety bond badge, is actually gonna have a new set as well. So it's uh, one of the two assist badges that we actually use. Or two, we use two assist badges of the like, I don't even know, 10. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was another <laughs> blink and you'll miss it level, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah, that was really fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, a level where we don't use Jet Run because um, there's some. Really good parachute strats there. Yeah, we talked about this level earlier. Um, this has the same wonder effect as Sprungs in the Twilight Forest, which we had in World 1, where Luigi is very stretched and enemies as well. But this one is a lot more tough. And those enemies spawn right inside of me. Missed the ground pound. Oh god. Yeah, this is where the fun begins. We're in the, the long farm again. <laughs> but yeah, some of the enemies in this section are much harder to avoid. Especially towards the there. Got a damage boost here. A little bit faster. Not dead. <laughs> we'll take 10. that. 10.0. Big. <laughs> <laughs> Next part of the junior fights. Oh boy, this one is this one is super interesting. Trust me. <laughs> I mean, there is a there is a fast hit that you can do on the final phase that has a pretty tight window for it. It's probably the yeah. only interesting part. I am I am gonna go for it, but I, it's pretty tight. It's kind of hard. Also, very annoying to time using Jet Run. Yeah. 
Also, you can you, you can see the jet run one-sided wall kicks. You can't do this with uh, out jet run. It doesn't work. It's really all you do for Bowser Jr., isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the fast hit. Yeah. Whoa, so close. Yeah, basically. Even the second one I didn't get. Well. Yeah, when when Bowser Jr. pops out of his shell, uh, this I don't. I, it's got to be less than a second. It's a very small window. Oh, wait, uh, wait, that's, wait that's. Yeah, where you can hit him on the head and finish the fight. Uh, quite a lot earlier, like a few seconds earlier, and then you get another chance, and then you have to uh, chase him around. Alright, that war 2 was not not terrible. The biggest time also I think was the KO arena where I had to restart, but otherwise decent. Now, the cutscene again. <laughs> Yippee! It's gonna be a bit less this time uh, than in World 1. But still gonna be like 2 minutes. Might if I get a quick announcement here while we're uh, more just uh, having cuts to play? Go for it. All right, so in that case, uh, if you all know, uh, price submissions are live right now for Awesome Games on Quick 2024. If you are a crafter, you have a unique gaming prize that you would like to submit. Go to gamesonquick.com for more info. And also, your your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits to on GEQ Twitch channel help support Games on Quick Offix. Enjoy watching Spearings daily. Consider subscribing to the channel. Primers? Any primers? 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 Anyone? Wait, what is, what is Twitch Prime? <laughs> Did you know you can subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch accounts? Ayo. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, for free? That's yeah. crazy. For free. That is wild. Free money. Free emotes. Right. Free emotes, if you will. Check if you have Twitch Prime available. Yeah. Do it. Tyler, you're supposed to pre be preparing for the 602. Um, we didn't talk about that one. So, guys, quick tutorial in chat. Holy shit! <laughs> it's all 28 with the Prime subscription! There you go! <laughs> How did you do that? I just... I just Wait, did, the did, subscribe it, did, that, did that cost you anything? It did not! Wow! <laughs> wow! I just clicked three buttons! <laughs> Wowie zowie! Yo, BTM with the Prime as well! Let's go! Heck yeah! Actually thinking about it, I might want I might have one av available as well. <laughs> one second. <laughs> I got you. Yo. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Second dolphin second dolphin kick dolphin kick level. There's always two of the of the bad challenges. One like what introduces it, is, it to you, and the other one where you basically master it. You want a tough, tough one usually. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, they usually, usually not that hard. Except for spin badge too. That one's jank. I actually skip one cycle here, but I always fail it and die. So I'd rather not. Have to go to the top exit here, just for the top of the flagpole. Now we have a another Wiggler race, which, like we said before, functions in a bit of a weird way. Because, uh, Cyborg 93, the prime gaming sub in the Twitch chat. <laughs> Yo, we should get a hype train. Hey. Guys, hype train. Yo. 
It's been all prime for high frame too, so far it rules. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings from Germany. Yo, thank you for the prime. Greetings back from Germany. Moin. <laughs> Moin. But yeah, the uh, the Weaver Rose functions on rubber banding, so it it's it's kind of weird. We haven't fully worked it out yet, but um, how fast you beat the race does matter to some degree. But uh, grabbing these purple coins probably doesn't lose as much time as it seems like it does, because uh, if you beeline it to the end, uh, usually you have to wait like the better part of five seconds for the Wiggler to actually catch up with you. So uh, yeah. There's, uh, there's probably a lot less time loss here than it seems. And grabbing the purple coins would be fast anyway, based on this category. Yeah, but get, going out of your way there for the purple, it's basically doesn't lose time. It's, it's like 0.1 or something. Maybe less, maybe more, but not much. Okay, recent recent change actually in the routes or in the run is we do this next level with Jet Run. Just down for uproar, which is a water level, but there are long uh, land sections as well. And we discovered that it is slightly faster to do it with Jet Run. If you do it well. That's not too great. I actually need a shell for this. Because we can't get actually to the second coin without it. Without a shell. Or a dolphin kick. Make it. Nice. And there's a cycle here. Can't really do anything about this one. We thought you could actually skip this menu with Jet Run, but it seems to be an on screen cycle. So we can't really do anything about it. Oh my god. I need to stop lo losing my elephant. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> this is great. Oh, yeah, this one, this action. <laughs> Another odd scroller. Yeah. Just gonna try to collect as many bits as possible. I already missed quite a few at the bottom, which means I can't get the full um, point oh. So I'm possibly gonna miss one flower coin. But that's alright. Yeah. Kind of sucks that there isn't like some kind of internal variable that stores the uh, the decimal state of your purple coins. I wonder how many we would actually be able to get in the run if that were the case. It's probably not an insane amount, but it still would definitely net us quite a few extra. For sure. Long flight ball. <laughs> and this one is quite long. Wait for it. Very long flight ball. <laughs> <laughs> it's so comical. I love it. <laughs> Still not the longest one in the game, no? Really? Yep. There's um. one one that's quite significantly longer, I think. Yeah, well. we don't. We thankfully we don't need to do it though, because it's in a it's yeah. in Bullrush Express, which has a secret exit, so we can just get the top of the flight ball on that one and avoid the insanely long flagpole that regular Bullrush Express has. <laughs> thank, thank god, it was like 10 seconds. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that the Paddle Isles section is done, which is, in my opinion, kind of boring, 
let's uh, get to into the action again. Word three. The uh, Shining Falls, I think, I believe it's called. And we certainly have some interesting nettles here. Including the most exciting level of this speedrun. The shop trial. <laughs> oh, no, the, the shop. <laughs> I'm a really huge fan of World 3 Casually, personally. I don't know why it... That's alright. I think I... I think I enjoyed it as well. Speedrun wise, it's pretty sh It's like... It's by far the shortest world. And, I mean... It's alright. There's a big skip in... There's a big skip in one of the levels, which we hopefully don't fail, because that would be bad otherwise. But before we do anything else, we need some more standees. Love me some standees. <laughs> Come on, never crash on Yoshi. <laughs> That's a good start. Nice. Good gold. Nice. Yep. Yellow Yoshi in a cloud. And posing yellow toad, of course. Our favorites. Those are my favorites. <laughs> Generally, everything so that's strange. above 70 here, after the shop, is good. Below that, not very. And I'm getting a few dupes right now. Okay. No. Posing Peach! Oh my Rice. god. No! Posing Peach. <laughs> yep. Hacking Posing Peach. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking not too bad right now, though. We need more blue toad standees. Come on, game. Oh, that's the first blue Yoshi one? Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Oh my that god. That happens sometimes. It's weird. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, there it is. Come on. A few more. Please. Yes. No. One more? Nice. Exactly 70. That's not too bad. Alright. I think, I think that was 24 new ones and 14 dupes, if I counted correctly. Hmm. That's kind of cope. Not gonna so, lie. Yeah, that, it, it wasn't the best, but, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> is what it yeah. is, I guess. Posing, posing Peach was funny. <laughs> yeah. Two in a row. The classic. Gonna need a new, uh, new 7 TV emote for that. <laughs> that new one every time that happens. It's two in a yeah. row. We were, we were I, actually... I was, th I was thinking of adding all of them. Just yeah, because. We were, yeah, we were considering adding every single standee. Oh no. <laughs> but, yeah, that, that would be 144 emotes worth of work. But which one's your favorite standee, though? The Crouching Red Yoshi, of course. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I don't even asked, honestly. It's too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, we're actually five standees ahead of my PV right now. Because my nice. PV has terrible RNG. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually crazy how much each standee loses. Like, we were talking about this earlier. Like, each standee probably loses about 50 seconds, each standee that you're down. Because grinding the coins to buy a guaranteed standee takes about that long. Yep. So, uh, yeah. And yeah, when we, like, um, make up for the ones that we missed at the end, we are buying guaranteed standees. So, yeah, it is, it is crazy how much uh, the RNG swing can affect the speedrun. Basically, we're just looking for a run where we play well and the game doesn't screw us. Because it's not insanely unlikely that you get good enough RNG that you can skip the grinding. But it can certainly happen quite often that you do have to grind quite a bit. So it's ca it can be frustrating from time to time.
Another prime, oh yeah. Love to see it. Oh, it's this level. <laughs> there was a uh, there was a funny incident during my casual playthrough in this <laughs> level. I'll, also, uh, death death star coming up. Ah uh, yeah. Yep. Makes this room so much easier. <laughs> yeah. How, how about you talk about your incidents? <laughs> So when I was playing this game casually, I'm not I'm not a huge Mario Maker guy by trade. A lot of Mario Makers will know that throwing shells upward is a pretty common practice. Um, and there's a pipe coming up uh, right here where Elios will throw a shell. Oh, my oh, God. oh no! Oh! No! <laughs> I need that <laughs> shell. Um, yeah, I guess a shot had it, now that we've had an incident as well. Uh, I basically didn't realize you could throw the shell upwards, and I just tried jumping and throwing the shell from the side, and just could not open the pipe for the life of me, and it took me like 10 minutes to figure out that you can just throw the shell upwards. Oh, please. Yeah, that was a, that was a D-pad moment. Trust me, I do know I can throw the shells upwards, <laughs> but sometimes my D-pad doesn't agree. Yeah, Procon D-pad is a interesting. Thing. Can't confirm. Not my favorite D-pad ever used for sure. Yeah. Well, even for like two games like this a lot of time, I prefer to use the stick just because of that. Yeah. I, I have heard of people oh God. Using, uh, using the stick. I know it is for this game for sure. Yeah, I was, I was kind of blessed to already own a controller with a decent D-pad that I can connect to my Switch. That's very good. Which one do you use then? Uh, I have the 8 bit SN30 Pro. Oh, I forget things about that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's like a SNES pad basically, it's very good. Thick as heck. I was considering getting one of those just because of the issues I have running this game. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. The day that your run dies to not being able to kick a shell upwards, making yep. that purchase immediately. Right. <laughs> Already on my Amazon wish list. I'm sorry <laughs> to click the button. <laughs> Just one run death to push you over the edge. <laughs> so losing my second elephant there was kinda annoying, but um, we'll manage. We definitely want to have one elephant in in my um, backup slot for a later level. God, that was close. <laughs> you got too far off screen this level, you die. Yeah, it's it's, it's annoying, especially in the airship levels. Where, like, if the flaw hasn't been shown on screen yet, the game doesn't consider it to exist. Uh, so you can die in the airship levels just by trying to go to the flaw too quickly. And I actually did kill a run to that once. It was very annoying. <laughs> this level is very good with Elephant, but I, I, I really need to keep this one that I have. So I can use it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this level is as frustrating as it looks. Also, not one that I enjoyed casually. Yes. Okay, we got that at the end. <laughs> This rose has mute. I, 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 I think this one took me like half an hour casually. I did not like it personally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it actually took quite a while to route like what blocks you want to hit in what order. Um, but yeah. Yeah, if you do it all, a few times, you, you know what you're doing. Yeah, all, all, all the search party levels, just terrible additions to this game. Except <laughs> the one in World 6. That one's alright. Uh, yeah, true. Go for it. 
Yeah, it was some really fun movement, in my opinion. Feels satisfying to pull off. Next level I really don't like. Thank you. Just kinda just kinda weird. It's a vertical level, so already jet on it's a bit annoying. Then there's also an intentional damage boost, which is really inconvenient. Because we need elephant in the level afterwards. Uh, but yeah. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, that was awkward. <laughs> Interesting that the hopcat didn't jump there. Uh, it, it doesn't jump when you're small and crouched. Ah, more enough. Should also, be yeah. getting point oh. Yeah, I was about to mention that. You notice side level slightly to the left there to grab one extra mini. If you play this section as fast as possible, you will be joining the point nine gang. So uh, yeah, we uh, and no one, no one wants to be in the point nine gang. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of strange in general how he doesn't just round up at that point. Yeah, Nintendo just hates us. <laughs> so sad. Now, the inf infamous sharp try level, at least for 100% runners. This one is a tough one, so hopefully it'll go well. It'll also look quite flashy, I would say, when I do it correctly, so... I'm gonna try to focus up. Yeah, there's a lot of very precise platforming in this level. Both to avoid the auto scroller and to make sure that we get all the purple coins while doing it. Part one done. Clean. It's one more difficult part coming up. Wow. I get it. This is the scary one. If I mess this one up, I lose like one and a half minutes. Let's try. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. That is that is that's, that's like one of the scariest parts of the run. Yeah. Because if you miss that last coin, if you die or lose your power ups, then it's jobber. You can't get the coin. You have to die and ride the whole auto scroller. Nice. Yippee. Now one of the levels where we actually use the spring power up. <laughs> this is a this is a fun level. This is it actually it actually looks super cool when you do it well. Yeah, <laughs> but it's really hard as well. Yeah, I uh, I think you know this is the third time I've brought up a clip 
of uh, Silo gameplay, there is a clip of, I think there's about a minute to this level, <laughs> which is about 15 seconds if you execute it correctly. Because, uh, yeah, it is. Oh no, oh no. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, uh, you can see how that can go wrong very quickly. Oh, yeah. That was still fine. A little bit of a mistake at the end, but yeah. This is, by the way, the level we would find right in later, if we have to. Or if we... we might be. Small skip with perish at the beginning. And then you would just grab all these coins on the way, using the star and... Um, and then die intentionally to do it over and over again. It's currently the fastest known way to get purples. Yeah. How many do you get on average by doing that? 21 coins every 37 seconds. Pretty good. It's, it's 23 coins now. Ah, is it? Ooh. You that get more coins than Nabbit. Ah, makes sense. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the fabled 1.7 seconds comes from, which will actually be slightly different now. Actually, I'm reading math again. I think it's 1.66 now. Yeah, 1.6-ish. Before we actually routed more coins into the run, we were actually thinking about not even doing this level here and just doing it at the end when we farm anyways. But now that we have the option of not even having to grind at all, um, that obviously wouldn't be too smart. Alright, this has some cool jet run skips. Yeah, this is one of those levels I like that, that right I, th there. <laughs> I, I think jet run makes this level easier compared to, like, any other badge. Nice. <laughs> that was a really sweet turnaround there. <laughs> I, 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 can... I got scared, like, three times in the row they're doing that level. <laughs> that was really <laughs> clean. Yeah, yeah. You, it looks like there's, like, a huge gap there, by the way, to the Wonder Seed. There are actually invisible blocks there, so you can't just jump at any position to the seed. You have to time, time it correctly. Yeah. yeah. That worked out. Last, last level worth three. I wouldn't say it's, wouldn't say it's too interesting. It's just uh, on these, these dash, dash tiles. No, I missed the wonder seed. Ah, oh, beans. It's fine. I'll, I can get it later on. Wait, I, th I thought it was a bit for a second. Was, was, did you actually miss that in this case? <laughs> uh, he... No, I died! <laughs> oh no. Gosh, darn it. <laughs> the, the no response. That's a like... huge... That, that, that's a huge time loss. That's a, yeah, that's a getting, massive time loss. Am I getting trolled here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, yeah. Intentionally. yeah it's, uh... <laughs> This is, the, this is the only level where you can grab all the coins and the seed at the same time. Because once you get the seed, you, you're locked out of the, certain, uh, the second and third coin. So we get all the coins, die intentionally, and then then do the one the seed. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I even realized that. Gosh That's darn it, a, I actually, died. <laughs> oh, he actually got me cake. the first time, and I run this game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thanks, Sprelly. It is a little strange how that's the case, though. Like, I don't know why they would like walk you out like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they would design it up like that, but sure. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it does take uh, take advantage of a game mechanic that we haven't mentioned yet. If you die, you still keep the purple coins you grabbed. Um, 
Which is interesting, because usually in 2D Mario games, they don't let you do that. Like with the star coins and like NSMB Wii, for instance. Um, yeah, you normally don't get to keep uh, the stuff that you grabbed when you die. But um, yeah, this game decided to change that. Which is nice, because otherwise we'd have to play the level twice. Is it because of the big exit? No. You just you just keep your stuff. You, you keep your seat, your wonder seat, you keep your couple of coins when you die. The only thing I had to pay attention to there uh, during uh, that level was to intentionally miss the checkpoint. Otherwise I would have respawned there and we want to respawn at the beginning. But yeah, that's usually not a problem. And that's what we done. It's around like 20 minutes long compared to the other worlds which are usually like 40. Yeah, World 3 is very fast. Mostly because there isn't a palace at the end. There, uh, both World 3 and World 5 don't end with a palace. Indeed. Now will be a time again for a question from the chat. Chat, do you have any questions? So far, are you, are you enjoying the run? First, I gotta say it's been a lot of fun so far. I see a few people run. I see a few different people run this before, but like a lot of strategies so far in me are, are pretty new, even despite that, which is really cool to see. That's yeah, good to see. Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. Hundred percent, and all badges are both very unique in the way that it's like uh, it's kind of the only category that completely focuses on jet run. We do have all row seeds where it's kind of like split between between Dash and Jetron. Dash is another badge. And it's still really not sure. I think, I think Jetron is slightly faster, but you can basically choose what you want. But in this one, it's Jetron is fast to, to be fastest. You have a question? Du auch. <laughs> ich auch. <laughs> ich auch. I see you wearing a Santa hat as implies your Santa. What am I getting for Christmas? Coal. Coal. No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for you this year. <laughs> this. I wanted that. You. I can quickly take care of some uh, some questions in chat. Uh, where's the special world entry in World 3? It is, you literally just have to go into the Royal Seed Mansion again. Uh, that's it. You just go in there again, spam through the conversation, it will give you the entrance to the secret world. It's a, it's a little bit lackluster, <laughs> honestly. But um, yeah, and that's the same for World 5 as well. You, uh, you just end at the final level and play it a second time. Yeah, I look at those two myself personally, <laughs> just to find yeah. them at all. Same. That's a little weird. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if we looked them up when we were playing casually. We were like, where, where are these? Like, we just had no idea. And then, like, almost as a joke, we were like, what if you just have to play the final level again? And that actually was how you do it. <laughs> that was strange, because, like, the other worlds don't work like that at all. It's just, it's just a thing you find, like, in Secret Exit. Yeah, it is odd that they, like, switched it up for just two worlds out of six. Yeah, we actually haven't done the World 3 special yet. We're gonna do that much later. Very end of the run. Yeah, Jupe, okay, that's the level where the drill is introduced. You can uh, go into ceilings and floors. And it also is affected by jet run, so you go very fast using the drill. It's almost, it's very hard to control using it. Yeah. Also, to answer Cynical Polar Bear's question, how do we take care of our thumbs? Uh, honestly, in runs, it's not that bad. Uh, just because of all the downtime between levels and cutscenes and stuff like that, practice is probably where like the uh, 
the the burden on your hands is the worst from like restarting the level over and over again. Um, but yeah, just taking breaks during practice usually uh, usually helps with that, and stretching as well. Stretching is underrated amongst speedrunners, I feel. Um, it's something that. Yeah, it's something that I didn't take seriously until I started getting carpal tunnel symptoms from doing too many runs. Uh, but yeah, we should uh, we should encourage stretching a lot more among speedrunners. I agree. As someone who's like had to deal with hand pains myself because of like some of the games I've run in the past, like yeah, absolutely, keep stretching your hands. Like do do some basic stretches, like pull your like your fingers back and stuff, like pull your thumbs back and all that. It's like. You yeah. just like shake it a bunch. Like all that stuff helps a lot whenever you have the time to do so. Especially during runs, but just even before runs, especially too. Yeah, it's important. Sure. Really, just do it in general whenever you're like you're playing any game. I'd say because like it just helps a lot. It really does. Yeah, it's one of those things where you kind of underestimate it until it sneaks up on you. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I when I was. I mean, I'm not that old. I'm 20, but when I was slightly younger than I am now, I was like, ah, you know, I'm, I'm young, I won't have hand problems. And then I, like, I remember my left hand started going numb uh, after playing, and I was like, ah, yes, I should probably start stretching my hands before I do speedruns. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's especially important for me for a while, because, like, I ran a few uh, DS games that, like, had, where I had to, like, hold the DS, like, and also hold, like, a stylus on the touchscreen the whole time. <laughs> Just, yeah. like, aim and stuff, like, it's... That's that that hurts your hands after a while, like after like an hour of play usually. And the run, run I did was like an hour twenty, so <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very important. H hand stretching good. I'm very glad I haven't had much problems with my hands yet. Very thankful. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Hate that token right there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That the, one took the, me so long. <laughs> Dude, even just even watching the search party levels just makes me livid because I just remember my casual experience. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nintendo really just wanted to watch the world burn when they designed these levels. They really did though, when I like I'm about it, but also I don't like it. <laughs> Now, enemies that are very, very similar to hoppos are blooms. <laughs> blooms. So, we also don't like blooms. Blooms. Oh yeah, these things. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, I guess we could mention with, uh, with what Silo tried to do there. We mentioned earlier that... Um, Ground pounding brings your hitbox, the top of your hitbox up. It also brings the bottom of your hitbox up. Uh, it's a pretty common feature in 2D Mario games, but it is possible to uh, to make a platform that you weren't previously going to land on by ground pounding, because uh, you just shift yourself up just the tiniest amount. Um, it also exists in 3D Mario games. For instance, in SM64, sometimes you can grab a star just by ground pounding, because it will lift your hitbox slightly. I messed up. I missed the star. Oh no, okay. <laughs> this yeah, the, is not great. The stars are nice in this section because you'll just go straight through the floor. <laughs> oh, no. so give me any star! Any. <laughs> okay, I give up. I give up. This oh, end this section is going to be okay, really wait. fun. Yeah, you should grab that. Very Jeez. cool. <laughs> oh man. <clears throat> that was like five seconds at least. Eight. Nice jet run, purple coin grab there. Abusing the coyote time. Bye bye. Yeah, I got a little ragging question real fast. Yeah. So this world, I know, is mostly open. Like you can, you can like go a lot of le levels like right start whenever you want to. Are you gonna tackle this world like for the routes? Like, what, what, what are you planning on doing? Um, it's. I mean, for this world, it's generally just about optimizing the like shortest path, paths between the levels, and also abusing the warps. Oh god, I missed the token. One second. Okay, this is this is off the rails. There we go.
So yeah, we're starting on the left side, and then move up to the palace, and then we walk down to the beginning and beginning again, and then um, work on cleaning the right side. That makes sense. Yeah. Because we also have to go to the I don't know if you know, but there's like a secret shop in this world. So once we go to the secret shop, we walk back from it and then do the other half because it just kind of works out that way. Nice, nice. I guess it makes sense, yeah. Warp is not one of those things I really ever thought about, but I guess it's very useful in the Sphero, and so that, 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 that'd check out. Oh yeah, it, it is for sure. Okay. I'm going for Scoopa and then grabbing this shell as this purple. Also gonna grab fire for the purple coin and immediately lose it. Great. I shouldn't I should not die. Oh god, that's slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's I didn't realize that it scary. actually slows down the power up animation as well. Okay, this is this is so not worth. Please give it to me. <laughs> I should have just ignored it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, give me the wonder seed. Thank you. <laughs> Good bit. I stole it. <laughs> not my not my bit. Shout out to Jay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think I remember watching Jay's stream, and I wasn't really paying attention to the game, he just started talking really slow, and I was like, is my Twitch bugging out? <laughs> and I, I like, clicked back into the stream, it, it's just in the Snoodles Wonder section, it's like, oh, okay, this makes sense now. <laughs> Crush up 2. There are some flower coins we got out of the way, otherwise it's pretty base, basic level, not much going on. We need we need to be big, so I'm just gonna collect this checkpoint. Because otherwise we couldn't get the third coin. Crouching high jump, definitely, definitely not a very interesting badge, in my opinion. You love the SMB2 badge, really? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there are much, much better options. Bye bye. To, be fa to be fair, I was in my casual playthrough, I just used parachute until I got spin, and then I used spin. So, I, I guess I'm boring. A little bit of a repeat level here, yeah? just different music. We already saw this kind of level in World 1. I, 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 I guess they ran out of ideas. <laughs> yeah, this one's an SMS reference, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's a bad music. level. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Can't believe Classic. you say such thing. Classic Sunshine <laughs> Hate from the Multi Mario players. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Sunshine is definitely something. <laughs> yeah. So here's the secret job I was talking about, and since it would be kind of slow to walk the whole path back again, we just cleared the left side, so we're just gonna warp out here. That was the wrong level. That's okay. Given the price, one of them is like 100 like purple coins higher. What the heck? It's like the same wonder seed. Yeah, you just get scammed entirely. For real? What the heck? By the way, would after this level be a good time for a break, do you think? Sure. Cool. Oh. This, this level is heavily based on music cycles, so it's super awkward to do with Jetron because it's designed to be done without the massive speed up. Please. 
Oh. Ooh. Can you not get that purple coin there if it's not Do showing? Not. Turn up your belt, Emils. Ooh. What? What? You got? You didn't get the second purple coin. Wait. I th oh I my thought. God. Oh, we did miss it. <laughs> oh. How did I miss that? You jumped too far to the right. Okay. Not sure if I was able to go back. Potentially. I didn't I'm notice that. Sure. I never tried. It's the first time that happened to me. Oh. I got it too, actually. Good that someone noticed. Yeah, good yeah. job. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I was about to do an explanation of how that purple coin worked. So I was like, I was like honed in. I realized you didn't grab it. I, I saw the good there too as well. And like, I, th I thought I meant like you got that because of that. Yeah, you have to do like four, uh, four jumps in a row time with the music to get it. Mm. Which it else did do. But um, yeah. Didn't, uh, didn't grab the coin afterwards. Oh, that explains it, yeah. So, yeah there we go. go. Gotta get the fantastic, not the good. Well, that was unfortunate. And yeah, we got there, though. That's, That's the important thing. We got that. Yeah, we can we can do a small break here. Yeah. Sounds good to me. In that case, yeah, everybody will be back in just a little bit with more of this run. Uh, stick around. Could be a good time. It's been great so far, to say the least. Yeah, be right back in just a few minutes. All right, welcome back, everybody, from the break right there. I'm, back, I'm going back to more Mario Wonder Harvest right now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. All right. Currently, we are halfway through World 4. We just finished up the Ninji Rhythm level. And now we're going to continue to the shop, first of all, getting uh, the Wonder Seed and the badge that we're never going to use. But we need it. And now into our mats. It's kind of unfortunate that I lost my drill earlier because now we're gonna have no drill here and it would be useful. But that's alright. There are some good backup traps using elephants. So I'm gonna grab one right here. Also, you're meant to up throw a shell over and over again for this purple coin out, but I just like go back and forth because it's less annoying. Especially with that one. And then use the flower to get to coin two. Now I could I could do the reverse bit from earlier, because in this level the wonder seed actually speed up the level instead of slowing it down. But I I can't double time wrap, so I might not. <laughs> to get a uh, dancer or semi to do rep go <laughs> during it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this section is, uh... What? That is interesting. That is <laughs> some... <laughs> that is not right. Um, that's, yeah, that's not right. I just got caught on the, the corner of a semi-solid platform. <laughs> that was weird. All right. Yeah, Fair as enough. I was gonna say, that section is pretty hard because not only do you have Jet Run, which speed up, speeds up your movement speed anyway, you are in a section that speeds up the game, so you are moving incredibly fast. It's uh, the inputs are a lot harder than it looks. I say a lot really harder than it looks. <laughs> yeah, you really gotta know what is coming up. Otherwise, yeah. you're screwed. I'm gonna go out of my way and get an extra purple. That one's also not guaranteed, but we did get it. And now another short break time level. We just grab this drill. And then open up those crates over here to get a seed. Some of these break time levels are at least a little interesting, but some are also just, I don't know. They didn't need to be in the game, I guess. Yeah. Like, like, hurry, hurry. I mean, yeah, it's supposed to teach you sprinting, but yeah. 
Oh well. Now this level, there's a mystery, one of my favorites though. So I use drill a lot and also some nice strats, just generally, in my opinion. Grabbing the coins. It's a very slick level one for combo. Okay, not what that happens. Also, a uh, slightly annoying caveat of uh, the way these pull things work. Uh, you grab using the same button as sprint in this game. Uh, so if you run past one of those, you will auto-grab it, uh, which, as you can imagine, is pretty annoying in some cases when you're just trying to run past it. Uh, so you'll actually have noticed just before the, uh, it does time to pretty precise, like, let go and repress Y to go past one of the hooks without grabbing it. By the way, if, when Carl says uh, Elias, that's, that's my name. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the, the, the pitfall of knowing someone for five years and then commentating a run with them. <laughs> I haven't yeah. called him Silo in forever. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, likewise, when Silo calls me Kyle, that is mine. <laughs> bye bye! It's yeah. kind of unfortunate that we did lose the drill at the end. Um, we do need drill in a few in a few levels. So I gotta make sure to have that one in reserve. Also, the second level coming up where we use Spring. Hell yeah. Yeah, normally the way this level works is that you have to jump in time with the music, kind of like how Ninja Jump Party works. Um, but yeah, if you just use a badge that allows you to jump high, you can just hit the thing, and that's it. <laughs> that's the level done. <laughs> yeah. And then we, uh, yeah, we grab the purple coins off to the side, and then just, yeah, quickly grab the seed when it spawns. Nice. It's kind of helpful that that seed takes a second to spawn, because we can grab those purples at zero time loss. It's actually kind of tight to get all of them in time, but yeah. if you do it well enough, it works. Like I might have, I might have lost like point one there, but yeah, man. it's it's really hard to do without losing time at all. You want to get all of them, but it's still worth to do it, obviously. Okay, I definitely don't want to do it with a spring. That's for sure. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Actually, that's not true. See it one more time. Two. Uh, yeah, right, true. Two. Nice little strat here. After grabbing this coin, we go into the ceiling using the drill, and then we can get out of this room earlier. I usually it's supposed to use these, these like, enemies to. Uh, get into that sub area, but with drill we don't need to. Yeah, drill allows you. Oh, that was a really good one to see. Uh, Wonder flower grab, by the way. Normally you have to go all the way around and just ground pound into it with the elephant's giant hitbox. That was really nice. Yeah, as I was saying, drill allows us to skip actually a surprising amount of level elements. We'll uh, we'll see it mostly in color switch dungeon. I think it is. Yeah. Uh, that, is the, that is the one level yeah. where I'm saving my drill for, because yeah, really need it. <laughs> those, these, oops, I missed those coins. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> Hello. Um, those rolling spike balls actually instant kill you when you hit them, but only when they're moving. So if I would have ran into that there, I only would have taken damage. That was... Okay. We still have drill, that's the most important part. <laughs> Yo 
Uh, the next level is kind of weird with Elephant, but I'll probably keep it just to be safe. Also, um, wait, second Captain Toad? No, third. Third Captain Toad. No, it's second. I think it's the second, yeah. Yeah, I think so. There are actually three in World 1, but we haven't gotten two of them yet. And yeah, that's two in World 4. That is the first one. I did not realize there's actually like three in World 1. <laughs> yeah, I don't get one, one, one of them. Yeah, there's three in World 1 and two in World 4, and that's it. I don't know why they didn't put more in the other, wo other worlds, but fair enough. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we actually found one of the ones in World One after the first 100% speedrun had been done. If I'm not, if I'm not wrong about that, but like we found one of them pretty late. Hmm. Um. Yeah, true. I, I remember that. I mean, there there are there are 33 coins we literally discovered, or I discovered yesterday, that we didn't know about, or I didn't know about at least. Because I thought we talked about the Goomba NPC earlier that tells you how many Goombas you killed. Like that NPC actually gives you thirty coins the first time you talk to him. Does it? Yep. <laughs> no, I did not know that either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're gonna do that. So I guess we will get to find out how many Goombas we stomp. I guess so. We will. <laughs> this kind of interests me to find like random coins that they just never knew about, like way later after the fact. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, I remember in, like, Forgotten Land, coming to Forgotten Land, like, came out last year. There's, like, a very obscure way to get, like, a coin bunch that no one knew about for, like, a year straight up. And, like, one of the levels in that game. Thank you. <laughs> Not even speedrunners. I think people spend, like, so much time on the game, you know? <laughs> That's it's usually when that happens. Sometimes it's just too obvious and the casual players just figure it out. Yeah, but in this case, it's like you had to bring like the like the Malfoy mode transformation to the end of the level, and like mm. the second level of World Four or something, and then like been around and, or like user or something, and like just random spot. It was really weird. It kind of yeah. made sense a bit, but like it was it was still very strange. <laughs> yeah, I feel like some of the funniest discoveries in speedrunning are the ones that. You really feel should have been discovered way earlier with the amount of playtime that a lot of people have in the game. This next part is the part where we. what we really want to drill for. Uh, there are some, some like walls you have to get past using the on off buttons, but if you have drill, you can just do that. And go under them. And there are a few of those. It's interesting that they didn't put a failsafe in for that. Maybe they maybe they just wanted drill to break the level. But uh yeah, it's uh it's interesting how much you can skip. Ooh, I might get the pipe entry here. Yeah. Oh let's go. Oh, nice. nice. Clean. That one is so that one is that one is tough. You have to position um, your character in the right spot on the pipe and also have the height. And then you gotta like press ground pound within a few frames after the Wonder Seed. It's, it's a tough one, but it looks super cool. And then we have like a puzzle section here that everyone struggles with in their casual playthrough, but if you just know where to go, it's not too bad. That was a solid uh, card switch dungeon. That was good, Hell, heck yeah. Thank you. Now we're just gonna clear out the right side of Worlds 4, it's gonna take a bit longer. And we're also gonna have the World 1 revisit soon, where we do the rest of World 1. And the reason is, uh, there's a bubble that we get in the World 4 special World level. And using the bubble, you can save a little bit of time in World 1. Because otherwise, you wouldn't get bubbles in World 1. They're just not available there. 
which is part of the reason why we do it now, that late. Uh, if you know, if you know the speed game and you've already watched some any person runs, you know about the auto, maybe you might know about the out of bounds skips using multiplayer. And uh, there was actually a time where that was also used during 100% to skip this bridge and a bridge in World 6 to save some flower coins. Um, but since the glitch got patched, it was decided that it was, would be better to just not have multiplayer be allowed for 100%. So one interesting thing, if you're Elephant, uh, you push these blocks way faster. So, really wanted it in this level. Huh. I guess those checkouts, but I never really thought about that. <laughs> Especially in the Wonder Seed section where you push a bunch of walls coming up, um, it's super useful. So it's essential to have it here. Yeah, you say that's special word for the you say special right. word for, the, for the end? Um not really. We usually do the special web levels within the worlds. The exception is the one in world three, which we do do at the very end. So yeah, this section was one of the grievances in my casual playthrough. It took me three times getting crushed uh. to realize that I could push that right wall. I think it's the same way too, actually. <laughs> I know I know I got crushed at least once right at the start. Yeah. That's until eventually the game just like slow enough to a point where I was like, oh you gotta push that, I see, okay. <laughs> and then there were one that's hit grab her using the trunk of the elephant. So we don't have to climb all the way up. Saving a little bit of time. You found me. Like the cycles of the electric electric enemies, kind of weird. Uh, so intentionally have to wait a little bit. Okay, that's not what I'm doing. And secret exit is over here. We have to do the level one more time, uh, basically yeah, all of it to get the normal exit. At least we don't have to do the, the wonder seat again, which is quite slow. Something interesting about this level is we're actually going to re-grab all the 10 purple coins. Because they're all worth to grab again for the, for the three. You weren't here earlier when I explained it. If you grab a 10 coin that you already grabbed, it still gives you 3 purple coins. And this level, they're all worth. But first, we're gonna get Toad. Toad number 3. You love Captain Toad. <laughs> you ever played Captain Toad before? Treasure 3D World? Yeah, same here, actually. <laughs> Basically, Treasure Tracker. Yeah. At least part of it. Also, I walked to the wrong place. I, I am silly. I've not played Treasure Tracker. That's I don't think, right, actually. I don't think I would... I mean, the levels in 3D World are right. I don't think I would like a whole game out of it, though. Not just not for me. I feel that too. I, was, I, I, thought, I thought it was okay as well, so I don't know if I enjoy a full game in the end, but... Yeah. Maybe when a new when a new Captain, Captain Cold Treasure Tracker comes out, if it ever does, I might consider. I'd be about it personally. They're very comfy levels, very charming to say the least.
And last, this coin actually would be too slow, but if you don't grab this coin, uh, the cycle is very bad, so we, do, we get it. And here, since we already got the top of the flagpole earlier, don't need to do it again. Because it is actually faster to grab the bottom. I don't think we haven't mentioned that. The reason why we don't only grab yeah, it once no, is because it's faster to grab the bottom. Yeah, and it's not just a matter of the lower you grab, the better. If you get good, great, or super, it's all the same speed. Uh, and then anything above that loses progressively further amounts of time. Uh, so like the one above that loses like five frames and then grabbing the top of the flagpole loses like over a second. Why does it lose that much time anyways? I mean, not, not top of the flagpole, but just like, why is like the one below that lose more time? Um, nice. well, it's more that the, um, basically when you, when you reach the bottom of the flagpole, or like, the time that you reach the bottom of the flagpole is slightly irrelevant because the poplin still has to come out of the house at the end of the level. So it's basically uh, going like on the bottom half of the flagpole doesn't lose any time the higher up you go because the poplin still has to come out of his house. Uh, and then once you get higher than that, it loses progressively more and more time. So without that animation, it would just be a case of grabbing the flag as low as possible. That makes sense. Basically, then. imagine a bus. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Here we go. <laughs> classic. The absolute classic. <laughs> Except if you miss the bus, you just have to walk instead. Ooh, <laughs> so don't like that. No second bus. <laughs> yeah, you'll see the Poplin walks out of his house. And then, yeah. So, the obviously, we're grabbing the top of the flagpole, so the Poplin makes it out easily in time. But uh, yeah, if you're just trying to get there as quick as possible, you usually just have to wait for the poplin. Yippee! Yahoo! Now one of the interesting badges. Why, Why would anyone exist? use this? <laughs> Why is this a thing? I don't know. A it is question. a troll. They it is a troll, I'm convinced. Like, it's definitely fine on this level considering the background, but like, the next, there's another one that you actually use it again, and then like, yeah, this is what happens yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, at the end of, uh, the end of the final level in this game is, uh, is certainly interesting with the invisible badge. One of the mm -hmm. hottest rooms in the game. For sure. I think the World 6 level personally, but that works too. <laughs> Yeah, the final the final level of this game is probably one of the scariest for the um, the goal pole uh, requirement because you are invisible when you grab it, which you also are in this level, but you have the ball rush to take you there. Um, whereas, yeah, you have to bounce to the top of the flagpole in the final level, and it is terrifying because if you miss it, you have to play the whole thing again, which has happened. <laughs> yeah, that totally has happened to me. Yeah, no. never. You never miss it, Elias. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> listen, listen, I haven't, I haven't gotten incredible yet this run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're yet. doing good. We take those. But yeah, I, I can't explain the relief I felt in my casual playthrough when I got the top of the flight ball first try. Let's <laughs> not try and play that level a second time. Careful, Standy. Okay. <laughs> Dan, he actually kind of good this run. I look, oh, I could the. Okay. That's in one of the annoying auto scrollers. Actually, quite easy to die in this one as well. Because, once again, blooms. What have you figured out? We don't like hoppos and we don't like blooms. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> so it's also infamous for 
um, getting incredible. So hopefully that doesn't happen. We can only hope. Because there's the normal way of getting powerful flag pole, which is using blooms, or the fast way using a bubble jump. But the bubble jump is kind of tight, so it's very easy to miss it. I want to say this is like one of the levels that got me the most casually, because like, most kids this last part, I think. Oh yeah. That's a tough one. Very tricky. Nice, nice. off screen grab. <laughs> <laughs> Where was it? <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. Nice. Getting easy every time. By a, by a blimp, that would not be fun. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta have the just the right height uh, with the bubble to be able to jump on it and also grab the top. But we got it. Now it's time for world one. Back to world one precept. Oh no. Uh, nice menu. <laughs> that bloom aware. Yep. That level is very aware. All right, now we're doing uh, parts of World One. Main reason, the main reason is for uh, Jet Run, because we wouldn't have Jet Run at this point earlier in the run. It obviously does save a lot of time. Ride this bull, and as long as you stay on its back, you'll get the instant wonder flower grab. And then you can actually just run ahead of the of the bolts here, of the bull rush. And meanwhile you can grab this coin. And this bull actually isn't there during the like non-wonder, during the normal phase of the level. That bull is only there during wonder for some reason. And it's pretty convenient. Because uh, that way we can grab that that coin without losing time. And here's oh. the longest here's the longest black hole, by the way. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we do we do not want that. Understandable. I don't know if I want to say this casually, by the way, but like I I got I I decided to click a bunch of purple coins and other stuff during like the uh, Wonder Flyer section of that level and like. The Wonder Flower just kind of ended after a while because all the all the uh, the bull rushes were way further ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know if you knew it could happen, but yeah. Oh wait, what am I doing? Forgot about the normal exit there for a second. Can't skip that one. Not too much going on here though. One reason is for the end, um, we definitely want this bubble. But otherwise the flag pole grab is very scary. But this way we can do it pretty easily. Yeah, that's cool rush. Now we're gonna go to the top part of World 1 and clean up the rest. And that's almost all of World 1 done. We still have the Piranha Parade shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Eventually, you're, you're doing that like you're doing that right at the very end of the run, though, right? Uh, yeah, around like like 15, 20 minutes before the end. No kidding. All right. Yeah, world one is on a, is ironically the last main world that we uh, actually complete in the run. That's very funny. Out outside of special world, obviously. The purple coins are part of uh, 100%. But I got all of them there in the secret exit. 
you are wondering why I didn't get them at in that level right there. So close. <laughs> Back up. Oh yeah, did we ever actually mention that crouching off the of edges removes the coyote frames? Uh, no. <laughs> I've kind of just been doing it. Yeah, I, I just realized like it's a pretty important part of jet run movement. Um, but yeah, you'll notice whenever uh, whenever Silo crouches off of an edge, uh, it stops the coyote frames from happening. Um, which is obviously very helpful in some cases. Yeah, I even realized that myself. I just, I, I, cool, all right. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things that it, it probably isn't obvious when you're watching because you're just like, oh yeah, they walked off the edge and they fell. That makes sense. But uh, yeah, when you actually try to learn the strats for jet run, it's like, oh yeah, this is actually incredibly important to know. Because uh, yeah, running off every single edge. Like, you know, getting coyote frames off of every single edge is really not that helpful in some cases. Alright. Yeah. Another interesting tech, but it's a little bit more niche about, uh, about Jetron, is when you... Usually when you turn around, you like slide a lot and it takes a while again to uh, get up to speed. Uh, when you just like uh, turn from left to right or other way around. But if you crouch or swipe with elephant, then it doesn't happen, you just instantly turn around. Here we go. That even it's, I it's, didn't know. Yeah, it's it's very <laughs> niche tech that uh, we haven't been using too much yet. Oh, okay. Last main level of world one. Parachute one. Actually, uh, even I would say it's almost more difficult than the parachute two. Parachute two has some nice shots as well with the cycle skips, but this one is just kind of weird with the spawning platforms. Yeah, I already messed it up. <laughs> Please. Keep going. All right, this way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> yep. Honestly, I find one of the most uh, like polarizing parts of using Jet Run is playing a level without Jet Run, and you just feel it's so slow. Yeah. It really is just by far the best badge in this game, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty overpowered. In, in, in all badges in 100%, it's kind of no contest about whether it's fast or not, but in some of the in the shorter categories, especially all Royal Seeds, which is basically just the any percent no major glitches of this game, uh, it's actually surprisingly close. Hmm. Um, like, it's it, the world record has been back and forth, not so much recently, but especially in the game's like first month. Uh, world record kept getting traded between jet run users and no jet run users because jet run is about a three minute detour, but it also saves about three minutes across the rest of the run. So uh, yeah, it even out, it evens out pretty nicely, and it's mostly up to runner preference for quite a long time. Super interesting. I never would have thought of that, considering it's literally just a power makes it go faster. But I guess I, I guess I would check out. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, in World 1 you have to go like a super long detour um, to actually get it. Uh, that was wrong. I need elephant. And then go. Yeah, but for Hondo, obviously, we just rush that run and then do everything with it. Spin. Yeah, usually th these uh, mumsies, I think they're called. You have to like yeah. uh, pull them, and it's like super slow to defeat them. But with drill, you can just like get them from the bottom. Okay. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Okay, this, this is bad. Okay. 
That's fine. <laughs> Get the next room is gonna be a bit annoying without elephant, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Please. Yup. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Watching you do this is making me want to boot up Wonder and just bam this level just to get a good IG2. Really? Just to work on all the KO arenas, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, please. Okay, this is not good actually. Because now we won't get drill in the palace next level. Yeah, you can see that tech in action there, crouching yeah. before turning. All right. Okay, I need to think about how I deal with this. I might die here. I can already say that. Yeah, so I was gonna say that that boulder at the start is not gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, it's more the, about the fire by. Or I just skip the power up. I can I can try skipping it actually. And just get the checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Can that you not just jump? Yeah, you, you not can. just. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to say that I was. I just did that wrong, anyways. Yeah, you can just jump in from the left hand side since we uh, move quick enough. So this is probably one of the most annoying one effect effects because it it looks like it's just the speed up to begin with, but, but it's then actually it both. slows down again. Oh and my then god! Suddenly you get an I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. You'll be fine. Oh no! I'm gonna die to this last coin. All of a sudden, this is an Indiana Jones film. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Point nine, by the way. Oh man. Point oh, nine no. gang. Point nine gang, point nine gang. <laughs> Another happy landing. Oh wait, Elias. What? Your can count. Oh my god, that's a reference. <laughs> Guys, join the, join the summer 602. I need winter 602. Join and the, the summer 602 next year. Get it twisted, become a multi Mario runner. Yikes. Yep, another. another. Very interesting, creative fight by Nintendo right here. We have to hit, on, we have to land on Bowser Jr. Can you believe it? I don't believe you. I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that I'm right. Go on. Boom! Oh my God! I was, <laughs> oh, you're so right. Yep. I'm just, I'm, I'm just right. I always am. I always will be. Very true. Nice. That's actually another uh, kind of similar to the world two fast hit that we talked about earlier. If you hit him fast enough on the last phase, you kind of skip an animation. But it's kind of RNG if you can get it or not. Because if your water is placed poorly, you can't actually make it in time. Alright. That is world 4 done. Just two worlds left and special world and that's it. I would say around halfway right now. Probably a nice. bit more. I guess, yeah, last like world especially is pretty long. <laughs> 
Uh, we, we do like a, we do like three, four levels in the special world after we beat the game. But they do take a while. And we also might have to get some coin grinding in as well. Depends mm. how the next shop goes. I believe in the Stanley luck. Yeah, right now we're doing <laughs> right now we're actually doing okay. We have I think we have 70 right now. 70 Sandies. And if we get around 97, if we get 97 in the next shop, we should be good. Where's the next shop? Uh, it's soon. It's in like 10 minutes. Okay, okay. The chat is spamming anything during the stand just for good Sandy luck. Red crouching Yoshi. <laughs> don't, don't, even, don't even start with it. I was thinking like <laughs> emotes, but that works too. <laughs> Guys, someone, someone added to the emotes. The crouching Yoshi, it'll happen. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Also, uh, yeah, to answer your question from the sh uh, from the chat, Chester, yeah, you can ground pound using the left trigger, and it's actually better to do so, because mm. um, when you're holding left or right, you can't press down to ground pound, uh, whereas with uh, with the left trigger, you can. Uh, and yeah, I actually switched to using the trigger instead of the D-pad because I lost a run once. Because I uh, I tried to press down while I was still holding right, and it uh, it didn't let me ground pound, and I just flew into the abyss interesting yeah for me it's like i've always done that in mario just like held down and that's it and yeah. like of course also in like mario party for instance too it's like sometimes it's like a to z to ground power sometimes like a to a to ground power it's like yeah. it's, it's, it's always different everyone's <laughs> hey, gonna do with l in this game that's that's wild i actually just do both i press down and press the l just to make sure Let's go. <laughs> Let's see, once again, we're in an airship level, but using Jet Run, purely for the ending. I think it actually saves even less in this one. <laughs> but, uh, hey, time saves, time save. Yep. Even for a half a second or so, hey, it's, it's worth. Until you die, then suddenly it's not so worth anymore. Also, hidden block here. I actually Ooh. thought you passed it for a second. I knew it was above one of the blasters. If now during this auto score level right here, you want to just like try and plug your stream gun once again? People to follow you? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, my my name is Silo. My Twitch is Silo93. And I currently do, yeah, mainly Wanda, mainly this this category and uh, all badges, which is the the no Sandy category of 100%. And I'm gonna try to improve those further, get the world records, and just optimize the category. And um, yeah, if you are also interested into interested in 3D Mario uh, speedrunning, then I'm also gonna do that in the future. So, if any of that sounds fun, then I'd appreciate a follow. And of course, uh, Source 28 as well in the comms. <laughs> also doing Wanda, also 3D Mario, uh, speedrunner. Make sure to follow him as well. I got you. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go follow everybody. It's a good thing to do, especially like, on the stream here, where like we feature writers every day. You know, whoever want people to to, to watch in general, um, always get to follow writers here. I'd, I'd say. Sure, sure. I know I've always like followed the people who've been on my shows, like after the fact, for instance. And uh, made sure to do that today as well, too. <laughs> a follow from Chasta? What an honor. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and never a bad thing to increase your speedrun viewing repertoire. <laughs> yeah. Never a bad thing to increase your following list in general. You never know when someone's going to be live randomly. True that. Also, I'll never know where you're going to watch, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Just have to make sure that we get uh, as many bits as possible. It's actually very hard to get all of them in this one. Especially using Jet Run. Um, and also, lose your bubble. Great. Uh, yeah, but we got point eight here, so... Missed two bits, that's alright. I usually miss this one anyways, so... It's 
fine. There's another hidden character book coming up, which it is right here. Right there, hello. Thank you. <laughs> I actually uh, discovered, like, I, I didn't discover these for the community, but I discovered them for myself accidentally, both during runs. I literally just jumped and then hit it, and it was like, oh, there's a block there. Cool, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I, I at some point I just went up, went through all the levels um, when routing this category and look into where the character blocks are. Actually, shoutouts to Nick, who also ran 100%, who figured out all the character blocks locations and uploaded them to YouTube, which is was very convenient for routing this. Yeah. Nasha Lea, uh, one of my least favorite levels, honestly, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> we definitely want to keep Bubble here, because we need Bubble for the sub-area room here. We also don't want to die. Okay, I am just going to restart. Yeah, I hate this level personally. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard to keep track of everything that's going on. There's too many dudes. That's, that's my problem, at least. <laughs> oh, please. Okay. Um. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, okay. we good. We it's good. fine, it's fine. <laughs> what, what do we got? Yeah, that, that's actually a 100% intended movement right there. True. Our achievement for the standees. <laughs> Oh, we need that for sure. <laughs> uh, yep, I want to go off that, please. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, that was clean. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen a better notch layer? I doubt it. I definitely have not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not getting that either. <laughs> that bubble's gone. <laughs> Nope, that Ooh. point is as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm so yeah. scared. <laughs> I love this level. <laughs> You're scaring me so much right now. <laughs> I'm scaring myself. <laughs> Not sure, jump scare. Nausea lay more like nausea despair. <laughs> more mean? like I'm nauseous. Uh. <laughs> Please grab the bits. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> We're good. I actually want this. For this block, Mario would be better because you could just ground pound this, but. Yeah. We'll grab it anyways. And that's. Uh... That was great. Uh, that was a flawless Nasha there. Trust yeah, me. But... Woo! <laughs> that, you're never gonna see a better one. <laughs> bye bye. All right, what five? Yippee! That's a that's a, a meme that shouldn't be funny, but I find it funny every time. You're gonna see the puplin, the the mining puplins go into mines again, <laughs> and they're gonna have no idea what's coming. Do they know? <laughs> Do they know? <laughs> no, they don't. They're clueless. They just go into the mine. No. Over and over again. <laughs> they yearn for the mines. Surely nothing will, <laughs> surely nothing bad will happen to them. The really? Puplins yearn for the mines. Yeah, surely they won't get stuck down there. This whole world will be based on rescuing them. Eh. That would never happen. Never never in a million sure. years. Surely we don't have to rescue, rescue them twice. No, no, that'd be ridiculous. That would be ridiculous. Not. Anyways. Let's do uh, some Uptroom. Uptroom is... Yeah, it's kind of weird, especially with Jetrun. There's some very awkward movement because it just doesn't work out well. 
and the cycle for the wonder wonder section is just bad. But we do have drills, and drills are nice. Also, we get a sensor badge here. I have never used this badge in my life. I don't even know how it exactly it works. I think it shows you, like, if something is nearby, like something yeah. new, but never used it. I used it a lot casually, but it doesn't show you secret exits. So Piranha Parade was impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tried so hard to find that secret exit with the sensor badge. Same here. It was. It was. Out. Uh, what? <laughs> I think I had looked that one up in the end. I think I just found a new movement there. No, I'm kidding. Your movement just dropped. The fact that you didn't take damage there is a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> It actually does? Does it? Interesting. Uh, what does? Apparently the sensor badge shows secret exits. I didn't think it did. I think I actually. I guess we gotta get good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do we know? Yeah, the, the secret exit of Piranha Plum Parade might be the like most like well hidden secret exit in all of 2D Mario. I'd be willing to say that. <laughs> I, I believe it, is, it honestly. It is wild how long it took like everyone to find that. Cause it's like it's just a random like diagonal pipe you gotta jump on top of right then a level. You wouldn't expect it. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to get on top of it in the first place. Yeah, I was, I was finding it was a matter of me, Silo, and uh, another one of our friends, Neil, sat in a voice call, just playing the level over and over again, trying to find the secret exit. Bye -bye. How long did it take in the end? I, I think it took us like a, like a solid 30 minutes, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're three people looking for a secret exit in like a one minute level in a 2D game... It's it's quite a lot of time. It's definitely it, a lot. It's very well hidden. <laughs> it's, that's why they call it a secret exit, I guess. I had to say it, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Am I though? <laughs> oh, why is this here? Okay, I just got a damage boost. Very awkward section with um, Dead Run. Especially hitting that quest mark block with a shell. It's, it's good that there's uh, like a wall to line it up with, otherwise, it'd be awful. That was pretty clean otherwise, though. Very it's, good. It's a pretty fun one to section to execute well. Oh yeah, I mean the the world record has uh, improved quite a bit in the recent weeks. It was awesome so, to see, honestly. I mean, it makes sense. It's a it's a long run. It's obviously going to be unoptimized uh, for quite a while. We are slowly getting there, though. So. Currently, um, if we get good RNG there here, we might still be on record pace, actually. Ooh. But we'll have to see. I mean, we're going to buy standies right now, so we're going to figure it out if it if it will or not. 
Fingers I crossed. believe. Watch chat to spam Red Crouch and Yoshi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll spam a prey one. emoji. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. See, the, the, the golden number is 97 here. Yeah? Pausing Red Yoshi. It's so close. Holding Peach. Running Nabbit. Come on, give me the blue toads. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of blue toads, it's true. I gotta rep my main, okay? <laughs> the Mario Wonder main. Not having too bad right now. We don't get too bad RNG at the end here. Might be looking good. You got like 10 Peach Come repeats, on. I swear. Come no, on. Down. Three dupes. Four Game. dupes. Game. Yep. Welcome oh. to 100% chat. <laughs> oh, yellow toad! Yellow toad. Oh, That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Had swimming peach three times during this set of buying uh, standees. What number are you looking for right here? 97. Nice uh, I okay. think we're gonna leave on this actually. That's 95. I think we're gonna. We might have to do like one sugar star trial, but it's looking good. That's good. That was. Uh, this one was definitely pretty good, uh, standy wise. Hey, Toxic Pond. This is the level with the with the quiz we talked about earlier. The reason why oh, we're playing no. English. <laughs> oh, hopefully, the question. hopefully no Goomba question. <laughs> Where's some other if questions get... you get from this? What? Where's some other questions you get from this quiz here? Uh, that's not good. I'll take a look. There might, be a, there might be a list of all the questions. I'm not sure how many there are. Rage, no Goomba. Please. The propeller flower. Got it. Easy. That one's that one's that one's fine. Five coins. I oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Ooh, thank God. Oh, no Goomba. You fall in you love. Fall in okay. love. <laughs> One of the best answers is, what's, uh, what's Bowser's son's name? It's Lil, Lil Bowser. Lil Bowser. Lil Bowser Jr.'s <laughs> rapper name. Yep. <laughs> Love that one. Okay, a little bit of a mess for the second coin, but... No Goomba, so can, can't complain, I guess. We take those. We take those, it's uh, for sure.
Yeah, looking on looking at walkthroughs, how many Goombas have you stomped may actually just be the only really bad question <laughs> in the quiz. The rest are pretty manageable. Because like even standees, we buy them just before, so we know how many we have. I forgot that was a question actually, but I haven't gotten that one in a while actually. Yeah. You want those flower coins? Oh, yeah. no, this level is a banger, in my opinion. Oh, get the stairs jump. That one's that one's hard. Block right here. Yeah, this level is one of those ones that takes a lot of rinsing and repeating to get good at because it's just a matter of knowing where all the platforms are. Yeah, you can really see it on the on the last coin coming up. It looks scary, but the movement is super fun for it. But I don't mess it up. Yes. You want this fire. And now, for the best song in the game. <laughs> oh, this one's a banger. I'm with you there, honestly. Are we yet to work out if the voice actor is the same one as the one from Necrodancer? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know if anyone knows the game Necrodancer. Um. But in that game, you also have like it sounds like the same voice actor almost, like the the big boo here. I don't I mean, know actually known what, who the voice actor for this one is. The I noticed casually, by the way, is never you see any of the Goombas or the prana plants that sing or like the boos here, I guess, that sing, like at all. Or even the doors, like they just the, the voice just goes away like forever. Weirdly enough, it's not like pre-recorded for the whole song or anything. It's kind of cool, yeah. Very nice. It's very I, cool I detail, like honestly. Yeah. Same for the, pir the piranhas. Oops. It's fun. Piranhas and piranha parade. They they each have their own like voice line, and when you when you defeat them, they go away. Well, were you scared? I, I agree with you. Uh, Next Dance is an amazing game. I've, I've like 2,000 hours in it. Good game. If you don't yeah. know it, uh, go play it. It's fun. It's hard. It's a very difficult game, but it's fun. There's also Canes done... of Hyrule as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I did some rough research, and I think, yes, they are the same voice actor. Ooh. The Necrodancer shopkeeper and King Boo in that level. Right, so, and how did you figure that out? Okay, so I searched up Necrodancer shopkeeper voice actor. I got a Reddit post that mentioned a guy. I put his name into YouTube, and he also made a video on Light Switch. Mansion. Oh. Hmm. Well, that proves it basically then. Yeah. Hey, would you mind uh, taking a break after this level here? Sure. Figure it's been a little bit since I've done that after all. That's neat though, small world. I think usually for stuff like that, I never look about like a voice actor, I always go like IMDB for that. <laughs> yeah. U usually it's there. So what's your opinion on this level right here? And I didn't really like it too much casually, but what do you think? Like, in a um, sense. The most annoying part is the, the flagpole, because 
for the flagpole on this level, you have to jump out of goo. And it's it's weirdly inconsistent if you get the jump or not. And also this wonder flower grab is awful. Uh, otherwise, I mean I don't I don't hate it. The the walking through goo is kinda weird that you have like mash you have to mash the jump button. But otherwise, I mean it's it's just an alright level. For sure. Not too much going on. I forgot about the slime section, honestly. I do remember enjoying the slime part, but like everything else before that was kind of a pain. That's that's the way I see it, though. I do enjoy the slime section of the last level in World 5 more. And, uh, Poison Ruins It's also a slime section. I enjoy that one more. I would agree I despise, with that. I despise the slime. <laughs> Fair enough, honestly. <laughs> Controls terribly. <laughs> Okay, I got the jump. No nice. way. If you miss that, good chance you get incredible. <laughs> Happened to me in my like second to last round or something. Yeah, it's it's surprisingly weird getting a jump out of the uh, out of the slime box. Like getting a big jump out of them. Here we go. Oh, uh, oops. <laughs> Oh, we can pause, sorry. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Yeah, we're going to take a little break real fast. We do this every hour or so. It's called a wellness break. It allows us to run ads on Twitch, Peter Twitch overlords and all that stuff. But also, you can just stand up and stretch. Uh, go get something to eat. Go take care of the stuff you got to take care of. Use the restroom, whatever you got to do. And yeah, we'll be back in uh, a few minutes here with more of the run. Be right back. See you in a bit. Welcome back, everybody. Back more Mario Wonder Hundo. Mario Wonder Hundo, if you will. <laughs> I don't know why I said like that. <laughs> We're back, though. Yeah, let's, 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 let's go and do the thing. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. Three, two, one, go. Funnily enough, Shasta, we do actually colloquially call it Wondo Hundo. Wondo Hundo, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> A very interesting badge right here we're getting right here is the Grappling Vine. We unfortunately don't use it at all, uh, besides the badge challenges and badge marathon at the end. It's actually quite an interesting interesting badge in my opinion. I wonder if the Wanda, I wonder if there's some strats, unique strats with it in other levels. Potentially, yeah. I mean, there is the tech of if you grapple right on a ledge, it will, like, propel you forward. Yeah, um, true. But, yeah. Next one, Swang Ruins. Uh, we do get some bubbles here that we're gonna need for the K Arena and the level afterwards, Poison Ruins. Uh, if we lose them, it's not a big deal. We can just re-grab them and KO, but it'll still be nice. Also, can I not miss a cycle? Thank you. <laughs> that was scary close. Very close. <laughs> okay. That didn't work. That's, oh, That's impressive man. that that actually hit it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. I still missed the cycle, but... I was even confused that I hit it at the first place. In the first <laughs> yeah. place. Tight cycle here. Missed it, but that's a backup. I'm just gonna grab another bubble here for an extra flower coin. Interesting that for some jet run strats, the backup is just doing the non jet run strat, especially when there's cycles involved. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, doing the wall kick to grab that second coin is what we non jet run users do in uh, all rail suits. Now that's a strat here where we activate a cycle and then keep moving oops, um, to get a purple coin, which is this one right here. Oh, 
Okay, never mind. We're not gonna get that. <laughs> That's fine. Peace. Uh, I definitely do want bubble for the end here because otherwise the flagpole is very annoying. So I use my backup bubble here. There we go. That was unfortunate, um, but it's okay. Next. Um, Thank you. I wouldn't say it's a very hard K arena coming up, but it's really bad when you lose your power ups. You wanna ah. you wanna get bubble and drill in this next K arena, and you wanna keep both. The bubble is for the level right after, and the drill is for like just after world five. So I wanna I definitely wanna pay attention to not losing it. Oh no. <laughs> Come on, boo. That's awkward. One yeah, this, room, this, this room is super awkward if, uh, if the boost don't cooperate. Imagine IL runners hate that room. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> That's rough. That is actually like. 20? I would guess. Because one main reason why we even grab the drill is for this next, is it this next room, this one. Because usually you can you can use drill to go under this wall, but now we have to go uh, through the background, which is annoying. Uh, can you? Nope. Okay, yeah, I guess we're I, not gonna I, I keep uh, either. Yeah, I don't think there was a solution there, other than going all the way back through. Yeah, I think that's all I can do at that point. This is not great. This section is also terrible. I remember, yeah, I remember this casually. It's killing these things while inside the group is so awful. <laughs> not. That I guess uh, that's that's not good. <laughs> w. That is not good. Survived, but at what cost? <laughs> now we're gonna have lots of trouble in poison ruins with our bubble. Um, but it's it's like a it's like a five second timeless here and like another five seconds um, in Mama mouthful not having drill so that's not good additionally to the 30 seconds that just lost in the KO in itself Normally, normally we would do infinite bubble jumps here to get all the way to the top. But instead, I need to do a backup strat where we get this checkpoint to get big and then ground pump this flower to activate it. Then we just can use these walls to get up here. Funny enough, you wanna you wanna talk about the block RNG there? Dude, I I, <laughs> I almost lost my mind when I found out that was RNG. Oh, so, uh, RNG? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, those three blocks contain three different things. One of them contains a bubble, um, and they're actually RNG. Which block has the bubble in, in it changes every time. Uh, I am notorious for having a bad memory, generally. 
So I gaslit myself into thinking that every single time I came into this level, I just forgot which block the bubble was in until Silo told me that it was RNG and I was like, oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Huh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they would do that. Oh, oops. At least you didn't know why they would the pole. Yeah, I don't know why so they would troll. design the game that way, but also skip coming up. Pretty nice. Ooh. Way more annoying than it looks. Yeah, if if I you recall, jump, I don't. If I recall, this level is a secret exit, right? Like right at the yes. end of this. Yeah, yeah I, I remember uh, like, going back to the, I couldn't find secret exit the first time around. And I was like, surely that's the flagpole to start, right? Nope. <laughs> it, it's not that, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, the the norm, normal flagpole is like a fake flagpole. It doesn't even let you continue the the world if you get that one. So you have to get this. Yeah, it's also a very annoying time loss if you accidentally grab it. Which has happened to runners. Yeah, it happened to Jay Not once. to me myself yet, but maybe it's maybe someday. <laughs> not looking forward to it. Hope, hopefully <laughs> not someday. <laughs> yeah, there's still, there's still a chance. This one would also be a very bad one to miss the top of the flagpole in. That level is long. But that's basically it with World 5. Just gotta rescue these clueless puplins real quick. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I'm, I, I remember now. Yeah, with the secret exit. Yeah, I, I forgot that. Yeah, it was. It's. It wasn't in that level. It's like here again. If I go back to the house for some reason, you have to yeah, rescue to, them that, twice. That's, that's to unlock the special <laughs> level, the special that, world level. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I knew there was one so World weird. 5, so I, like, start, I searched like every level to find it, but I couldn't find it anywhere, and suddenly it's just, it's just that there at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's so wack. Why, why did they do this twice? What will you learn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come back down. It's so weird. <laughs> Clueless poplins. What? Okay. I was just zoning out there and pressing my shoulder button, but it just Luigi just didn't jump. <laughs> my control just didn't work. Fair enough. Most functional program. That's so true. <laughs> okay. It'd honestly be funnier if we played the the second version of Poplin Rescue right after the first. So they just get yeah. stuck immediately again. Yeah, like one minute afterwards. <laughs> Come on, Poplins. The Poplins do truly yearn Don't for the mines. Like that. <laughs> a speedrun getting stuck, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, we don't uh, do the World 5 Special right now because we do want the, the Spin Boost Badge for, for the for it. And we do get that in, in Pedal Isles a bit yeah. later. Also, the game pauses us out when we finish the World 2. So. That's also true. So going right back would be kind of pointless anyways. So the way we did it is we just routed that level in where we would usually have to warp anyways. Uh, that way it works out perfectly. Oh, there's another overworld purple coin that you don't know about. Uh, they're in the bottom left, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should, I should start grabbing that. Okay. Somehow worked out. Oh, 
All right, we're Goomba. Time for the sl one of the slowest wonder effects in the entire game. At least run. <laughs> you know what I really wonder? Go what on. do Goombas taste like? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate I hate that. <laughs> Why'd you remind me it was this one? <laughs> that one. Coming up. That's the one on the ledge, right? It's the one on the on the top platform here. Oh no. Coming up. What are Goombas? Are Goombas just bat mushrooms? Good question. I think it's just a different type of mushroom in this case. Cause like, I really got like crummy mushrooms. You got like, like uh, just like button mushrooms and all that stuff. You get, etc. etc. This game is just, you know, Mario is just a mushroom, but like. Sure, there's another type of mushroom, but it's not just a mushroom, you know? This is the way I see it. Oh! Yes. oh no way! That is unfortunate. No way. <laughs> okay, I do have it. What do purple coins taste like? Well, this game would seem to imply flowers, is what they taste like. Jesus Christ. Oh, he said it again. <laughs> the flower said it again. Why? <laughs> There's no Goombas on screen! <laughs> Thank you. wonder what flowers taste like. Probably just like grass, right? Probably. Anybody in chat ever eaten flowers? <laughs> We've got some hands-on experience. No. <laughs> Who eats flowers? <laughs> I didn't make like edible flowers, but I don't think, I don't think it's really the same. Right there. We got confirmation from chat. Flowers taste like spicy paper. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. What does what does spicy paper taste like? But I mean, we eat everybody's eating paper, right? Surely, when you're a kid, what? like in school, uh, you eat paper. <laughs> nah. I eat paper. I I never eat nah. paper. <laughs> Thank you, Shasta. No, no, I got you. No, not anymore, of course. But like, I remember doing that. <laughs> Oh, this is actually kind of bad. I don't, I, I would, I don't, I, go ahead, no, go ahead. Yeah, usually, we have, usually we use a power up here to damage boost for the first coin, but I can't do that because I don't have one. No. Yeah. What are you going to say? I was going to go off of, like what we were saying before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think we were important. just going to keep talking about eating paper. I think. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, I, I know as a kid I ate a lot of stuff I should have eaten for sure, and paper was definitely one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was like for me it was like paper and string. Those are like the two biggest ones. String is crazy. <laughs> yeah. String. No, it's it's like stuff like you know like 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 your towels like whenever like you like you know wash yourself and all that it'd be like uh, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> I don't need more, of course, but like this is me growing up. <laughs> Everything is sure. edible if you're not a coward. <laughs> oh my god. So true. You could. Oh, okay. It's like you're not wrong, but you're not right either. <laughs> you could insert. A lot of things into this sentence that you really shouldn't eat. <laughs> like grass and flowers, I guess. <laughs> no, those are fine, honestly. All right, fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, I think there's much more worse things you could eat. Point that's true. Yeah, like hemlock or something. <laughs> like knives. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, some people make a living out of that. That's true, actually. You're right. You're, there are sword swallowers. I've seen stories about like people eating just like a, a lot of knives for some reason. They have just like plastic <laughs> knives, but it's like actual metal knives. I don't know why. <laughs> when the cravings hit. <laughs> just got a chomp, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. How do you like Mario Wonder? It's a good game. I, I, I played through like most of it and got most of everything. I personally like it a lot. The revival you? of 2D Mario. Pretty good. Yeah. My favorite before is for 2D Mario was uh, the original new Super Mario Bros. on DS, personally. That's fair. That's a good one. It's yeah. That's valid. It wasn't my favorite 2D platformer, but it was up there for sure. I don't know if I actually got them. I got the cheap, cheap. The bubble was so far away, I just hopped in. <laughs> oh, great. Just. This is one of my least favorite rooms of the KR in us. <laughs> just makes no sense. I can imagine yeah. the, the plethora of enemies right there. There we go. That one's better. Oh, blue shot power is goaded. I will say, if someone tried to run that at one point, though, keeping the blue shot power for a long time like you need to in that run, really, really damn hard. Because <laughs> <laughs> right. there's only like secret exits yet you have to go through to actually get to the like, layer parts of like the entire game. And you, and you only do that with the blue shell, it's so hard. <laughs> yeah. But it's worth it. When you get there, well, it's really fun. So, like, it's worth it. <laughs> Last Wiggler race, and uh, this is actually the only level of the game where the game actually recommends you to use Jet Run. Usually, like Prince Florian always like recommends you a badge, and this is the only one where Jet Run is actually like recommended to you. Which makes sense, I guess. They didn't want you to know how broken it was. They wanted you to forget about it. <laughs> To be fair, why would one, why would a casual player want to use Jet Run in any other level? <laughs> it's way too out of control. Very true. Question from the chats. Uh, I, I think you two probably more experience with this answer considering you've run more Mario games than I have. What's one of the most easiest uh, Mario games to speedrun, in your opinion? Honestly, mm. Odyssey's really not that bad as a beginner. Like Odyssey I mean, definitely has a very easy entry level, I'd say. It really depends on what what easy means. Easy to speed on, easy to get Probably into, easy to learn. Is, I'd, I'd say to learn. Different. Yeah, I'd say like easy to learn. Like maybe there's like a lot of guides communicate gave out or like other stuff like that. Maybe it runs like pretty straightforward, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think, I think yeah. I mean. In, in 3D Mario, it's definitely Odyssey, I would say. It's the easiest, just because... Another easy one to learn is Galaxy, but Galaxy is pretty long for a beginner. Yeah. As a speedrun. And Odyssey has good, a good length. And 2D-wise, I, I haven't run a lot of other 2D Mario besides Wanda and a little bit of NSMBU. So I can't say too much about that. But I would say Wanda... I mean, Wanda is long, also. It's, it's yeah, it's hard to say. Potentially on the I would say, if we're thinking like any percents. Yeah, maybe. Also, this level stuck. <laughs> Why? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Why the end? There's a very interesting strats that we're gonna we're gonna do, but 
before that strat was found, this was the worst level of the run because you would just lose minutes here every single run, failing the last purple coin. Yeah, it, I, it's it's horrible. It really is. Yeah, every time that uh, the time I got here in his runs before we like did the, did the safety bound strat, it was so terrifying. Because this is like, how, how far in are we? I don't have a timer on screen, but like three, we're- Three and a half hours. Yeah, we're like three and a half hours in. And having like one of the biggest make or break points of the run being this is, uh, yeah, it was terrible. I died. <gasps> no way. How did I get you? That is, Unfortunate. that is rough. That's not even the bad part. I just messed it up. Yeah, the this level is awful casually. I, mm -hmm. I remember playing this one. Yeah, I hate this one. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not do it ever again. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that to Sweeter to do it over and over again. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. At this point, it's honestly not that bad anymore, but it used to be a lot worse. Like the the one hundred percent route literally used to be different, uh, just to do this level as early as possible in the run, because it was it was just so bad. He said uh, it usually isn't a problem anymore. At least you hope. But this time I'm not gonna do silly things. There we go. Thanks. There we go. Alright, and the, the ending part is the problem. Uh, grabbing this purple coin and also making up the Wonder Seed is impossible. So what actually Tippy figured out is... Um, I think I'm dead, actually. Yeah. Oh my no! God. Well, uh, well n another two minutes, one second, I'll get there again. This level is fun. Yeah, and even with the safe strat, this level still sucks. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes I wasn't paying attention. Sometimes the the bubbles like overlap, and when you hit one of them, they like both pop. It's just and then you screw it basically. All right, let me just actually do this. So where were we going for the there in the first place? Right at the end. What was that? What were we going for at the end? Right there. Like, what was the strategy you're gonna do? Oh, uh, I'm gonna show you. Okay, okay. I just need one second to get there again, guys. No checkpoints. <laughs> just a quick, give me, give me a minute, literally. For sure, for sure. Here we announce him while trying to get back there if you want me to. Uh, sure. Alright, yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube right now, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel as well. If you want to see this, this, these runs live as well, go to twitch.tv slash games on quick to watch us live. Like this. And I've read, I think I've read everything else at this point, but I'll, I'll read it again. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll, sh we'll show you this first. You got this. Alright, come on. There we go. Nice, nice. You might be thinking, oh, you missed the coin. But no, this is what we got safety bounds for. Yay. Oh, very good. <laughs> I love that. that. And that makes that so much easier. And uh, yeah. Shout out to Tippy for figuring that out because it makes it actually bearable. That's Tippy. Yeah, I guess I guess another reminder: uh, your subs, prime given subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on GQ Twitch channel help support oh, yeah. uh, games on quick topics. If you enjoy watching watching experience daily. Consider subscribing to the channel. A reminder: primers, primers, do for free, sub for free, prime, prime <laughs> gaming, ao. <laughs> prime gaming oh. is amazing. It's pretty good. I like I like subscribing for free to, to channels that I like. You know, pretty cool. I love free things. 
Me too. I got my premium. I got my I got my premium up right now, but I can't use it on this channel though, unfortunately. I'm already subscribed to it. <laughs> and we're here we have the Poplins having to be rescued again. <laughs> oh man. What a bunch of rascals. They keep yep. making this mistake. Have you guys noticed how how delicious Luigi Blob looks? <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> it looks it looks so delicious. <laughs> like jello. Yeah, exactly. It's lime green jello. <laughs> Why am I saying this? <laughs> <laughs> I actually really wonder what Luigi Blob tastes like. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, World 5 Special. We're gonna try to skip the whole auto scroller. And first, we're gonna die. Hit our head on the ceiling and then go right into the enemy. Love to see I, it. I see the vision there. I did that casually. <laughs> It's like I was on this level Kinda forever, like you know? And then we just kind of fall and use spin boost to make these jumps. And we can also just drop past this one, get the coin on the way, and then ramp onto the Wonder Flower. And now we need to not die. Which is kind of tough, especially when I'm already small. Yeah, I remember this casually. <laughs> Not fun. I'm also gonna try and at the same time grab as many flower bits as possible, and then I'm gonna get rolled by those... <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Uh, I call them Zooks because they look like Zook from Skylanders, but I don't know what they're actually called. Oh <laughs> man, this is just awesome. This one is going downhill. It's alright, we're gonna PB and having fun. <laughs> yep. Should be good, as long as I avoid these goop balls. I also missed two coins there, that's unfortunate. And then there's a nicely and conveniently placed navy block right there. We got double flag ball. Double flag ball. <laughs> Thanks, Nabbit. Shout out to Nabbit. We'll see, we'll see him later. Ooh. I knew this, but I'm still going, ooh. <laughs> All right. And now we're actually done with World 5. Plus the special one. So, going into the last main world. World 6. Also pretty good here that we can um, refuel on power-ups in Search Party Item Park. But I really want... I really don't want to be small for World 6. Yeah. World 6 search party, IMO, only good search party in the game. The rest suck. Yeah. <laughs> the other ones are all like, oh yeah, find the hidden blocks, find yeah. the, uh, pick, a pick a pipe. I don't, I don't even know, like, <laughs> yeah. search party that is bad. But this one is actually like, oh yeah, you need to figure out the correct power up to use and then use it correctly. Like, it's, it's kind of neat. 
That's good. I like that. Yeah, it, I think it was the only search party that I didn't need help to finish. Like, honestly, all of them should be like that, but at the same time, I feel like if they use that same thing over and over again, it wouldn't be a good idea either. It's still after yeah. a while. Yep, for sure. It's still a tough level, though. It's actually quite, quite difficult. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a little in and out strat. But, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, much harder to execute than it looks. Yeah, let's start coming up with a drill here and see if I get it. No. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. I'd say it's even harder with Jet Run. Even though you move faster, you can't like line it up as well because you have to constantly be moving. I'd honestly rather do that without Jet Run than with. I think the final one I missed personally for this one was just like one of the cheap cheeps. I searched like <laughs> everywhere around this entire room and then like I, just, I didn't think they'd just destroy them. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, please. E-pet moment. <laughs> Gotta help this poplin uh, by paying 50 coins to destroy the rock. Minus 50. Here we go. Yeah, in World 6, that technically would have been, been another skip using the auto out of bounds glitch, but partially can use it. If you have if you've seen the the out of bounds skip in world six before, it looks pretty pretty interesting and pretty impressive. Actually, not in this case. Mostly in overworld one, personally. That's cool. Yeah, in world six, you like you like since it's like built vertically, you basically fall next to the next to the levels and just like drop in where, where, wherever you want. That's really sick. Yeah. Might need to watch like a like an old run or something just to, just to see what it looks like. Yeah, you can you can check the any percent any percent run. Oh, it's they in there. That, okay, they, they do that skip. Yeah. I guess I'll have to at some point. Now I actually get into the interesting levels. Okay, Rumoro Secret, uh, we we need drill for this one. Uh, fortunately, the the level has drills, and we also already have one. Oh, I I did not want to look at that. <laughs> Reading. So it should be a problem, but. Gotta be careful, so. <laughs> so this one for an extra purple. And then for the second coin up here, you can just uh, go into the ground with drill and go off the edge here and you'll grab it. Pretty cool. Oh, convenient. <laughs> and that's bad. <laughs> okay, we'll do the normal exit. Yeah, I was I was meant to do the, the secret exit there, but I lost my drill, so can't do that anymore. Oh, I can't do this either. There's a drill up to your left. Yeah, it's whatever. That works.
This is certainly interesting. How this is going. Interesting thing about the the bowling ball here. When jumping off slopes, you go significantly faster than not just not just like not doing anything. You want to yeah. jump off a downward slope as much as possible. Yeah, there's an interesting quirk about how the game di dictates your speed in this area. Yeah. Oh, in this area. God. Oh yo yo. Oh. Jesus, that is that is no bueno. I didn't get any checkpoint, really? Okay. That's not so good. Where was the last checkpoint before that? Um, I'm not sure if there is one, like, outside of that one that you grabbed. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it, yeah. Well, I Things grabbed this time, not last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay, we're back. That was we're like... We're so back. That was like one and a half minutes, maybe. Yeah, like I was saying before, this game basically decides your speed based on the last slope that you uh, that you were on. So if you, even if you're moving really fast and you roll down a less steep slope than the one that you were previously on, it will still slow you down, even though that's not how physics works at all. Um, it's really weird. So basically, we just want to roll down the biggest slope in each area and then just don't touch any other slope for the rest. This time, we're gonna do the secrets. It's actually faster to do a secret first, technically. Because the normal exit and the secret exit unlock different paths on the overworld. And if you get the secret, it unlocks both paths at the same time. Slightly faster. But, I mean, I didn't, ha I, I, well, I didn't have an option here, so it's, it's an big deal. Uh, okay, that was weird. I uh, know. We, we only need flag of throw the flagpole in one of the two exits. If that's a secret. I'd say it's pretty convenient in some cases, considering there's like the larger flagpoles in some, in some levels too. Yeah, exactly. It's convenient yeah, that, that that level has a secret exit with the mm -hmm. large flagpole. Otherwise, we would be we would be having to sit through it. I'll grab a check one just in case. It's pretty easy to die at the end here. Oh, I'm just gonna miss the cycle. Actually, I'm fine. I ain't make it. Nice. So what's the goal right now for purple coins? Or do you, is there another like shopping segment soon, or are you just gonna get all the rest of them in the special world at this point? Um, when we do the World 6 special, we're gonna do one more shopping trip before the end. But at that point, we will all, like, we already have so many standees that now we're only gonna get the, the guaranteed ones. Like, I think okay. we're, at 90, we're at 95 right now, and it's just, there's just no point buying the random ones right now. Just too unlikely to get more new ones. 
That makes sense, yeah, given all the potential for dupes now at this point. Yeah, exactly. Wonder if someone casually just didn't know about the stuff in the special world and just decided to just get all the dupes from the shop and just endure it that way. Apparently people have done that and somehow you do get them. I think there is some sort of pity system, but it's just not strong enough. Hmm. It's good We're not exactly one. sure it works. That's good there's one at least in place, but yeah, even... De definitely not strong enough for sure. <laughs> should have been... They're a little stronger, I'd say, for that. <laughs> yeah, if there wasn't a pity system, it would be like statistically impossible, basically, to get all the standees from uh from uh, one. Oh yeah, or, like, absolutely. Just from the tens. There's a similar system. Okay, so my my, my experience in the past with like something like this is Kirby's Forgotten Land spearing, and 100 percent that run there's like the gotcha machines. Or like it, yeah. or like, oh, God. yeah, and like, <laughs> thankfully there is a pay system in that, it's pretty lenient, because I think like every, like, third one or so, it does give you, like, something you don't have yet, which is good. Yeah. From what I can tell, though, the stains are, like, less pity, like, there's less pity on them, like, you got four in a row earlier, like, four yeah. groups in a row. It's very what strange we, to me. What we currently think is that the... There are three different tiers of standees, um, the, not the common ones, the rare ones, and the super rares. And currently we think that the super rares get more likely over time. Um, but yeah, we don't know by how much if it's actually the case or like how exactly it works, unfortunately. Hmm. We might be able to figure it out soon when some like data miners figure it out. But right now, that's not the case. I could probably spreadsheet that, actually. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Source 28 Classic. Put my statistical mind to the test. I mean, there's probably enough 100% runs now. But like, a, a decent enough sample size. Yeah, true. At least you get a decent idea. Yeah. Of how it works. Still super cool power, honestly. The yeah, it's unfortunate, that, it's unfortunate that we never use it outside the batch challenges itself. Yeah, because it's like it's got a lot of potential. I, I feel Thank you. it's really cool. Maybe there'll be a category, like a category extension at some point that uses grappling. Because right now it's just not really useful for anything. There was the thought about like. A jet runless hundred percent run. That could be cool. That couldn't use that couldn't use jet run or like dash. So the other badges, you know, could be shown off. I, so I like runs in, like that personally. Where it's where it's where like it's like a category extension, but you just, you just like can't do the very OP thing in the run. I like that. Like that's that might be kind of cool routing wise. Yeah, sure. So that that, that might be a thing soon. At some point. I feel like in general, like, all the badges, like, they have a lot of potential for, like, category extensions or, like, meme categories overall. They really do. The one problem about Grappling Vine is that you get it pretty late. Like, you unlock it in either World 5 or World 6. So. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> I wouldn't be used in many levels. Maybe uh, like, a, no, maybe like a like a mod run in the future potentially. Yeah, maybe. Know. Whenever that happens for this game, if it doesn't happen already. <laughs> I think I think people are already modding this game quite a lot. Wouldn't oh, surprise yeah. me. Oh sure, the modding server is literally bigger than the speedrunning server. It's crazy. Oh, never, I never realized that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's wild. It's wild. Could you say that people love getting creative with their games, and 
People and a lot of people like that too. <laughs> I um, Yoshi is not, no Yoshi is not being used in 100. We are gonna use Nabbit later um, for a short bit. This flagpole is annoying. But if I can get this bubble jump, then we're good. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> nice. Decent backup. How much of the run is left, would you say, so far? Um, just over an hour. Cool, cool. Yeah, we just gotta finish off World 6, which is gonna take like half an hour, and then... We need to beat the game and finish Special World, which is gonna take another half an hour. So, just like hour, hour 15, something like that. Cool, cool. So we're getting, we're definitely getting to the end. Last, uh, last airship coming up. Oh, baby. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, this. This is actually the only one where we are not gonna use Jet Run. It might... It, it, it definitely is faster to do the end with Jet Run as well, but this one is just super awkward with it. So it's, it's not that worth... We'd rather just equip a different badge and be a bit safer. Yeah, this this airship I feel like has noticeably harder obstacles than the other ones. Yep. So I guess I might as well do the same thing again we've done for the last few airships. Would you like to plug yourself during this part here, since not much going on in the airships? Uh, yeah, sure. So, uh... My name is Silo, you might have already known that, but uh, I currently run Wanda 100%, the 100% categories, which are yeah, this category and all badges, which exclude standees. And I've been grinding the game since it came out, and we are working on getting it more optimized. And yeah, I'm gonna do that in the future on my stream, Silo93 on Twitch. And if you're also interested to do 3D Mario speedrunning, and maybe the 602, then I'm doing that as well, so... Ooh. I would appreciate a follow. Is that your first time doing that, or have you done it before? The 602? I've yeah, done it many times. times. Many times, times. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your PB in that right now? It's a 2051. Woo! Love it. Yep. Not yeah, sure what... what I don't know what what place it currently is on the new bots. I think it's like eight or something, but not too bad. Still trying to improve my my Mario gameplay in the future. Absolutely, Mario's Mario's always difficult. Much respect to anyone who's like really good at this sort of game, to say the least. Yeah, multi Mario is hard because it's just it's just super difficult to be like not rusty and just consistent at multiple games at the same time. It's it's tough. It's tough. Mm -hmm. But yeah, from time to time, I also do different things. Like uh, currently, I'm enjoying Wonder more than. Oh, I'm just trying to play Wonder. Not too much uh, 3D Mario going on. But I'll definitely get back into that at some point. Oh, and then we also folks. have. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just I was just gonna say that uh, in the commentary booth we have Source Twenty Eight on Twitch as well, doing similar things as me, Wanda and Multi Mario. So make sure to follow <laughs> him as well. Yeah, I also do six oh two stuff and the rest, everything else that comes with.
Very cool. All right, airship done. Uh, got that out of the way. Now, hot, hot, hot. Actually, if it goes well, super, super amazing to play and look at. Um, if it goes wrong, I, I don't, I don't even want to talk about it. It's, <laughs> it's a bad one. It's a very bad one. But let's see. There are some tough strats. First, I'm going to grab an elephant and then use a pot to grab the first coin. Has precise timing, so let's see. Yeah, I missed it. It's alright, I'll get it later. That's a good thing about an, a level having two exits. We have to do it twice, have a second chance. Then we're going to use the star to walk on these and skip up to this flower, which unlocks the secret exit. And while this magic flower is moving, we're actually going to go ahead and trigger this bubble. To get some extra purple points. There we go. Is that an elephant? No, it's a monkey. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> That sounds sarcastic, but <coughs> clear my throat. Ooh, it's close. a uh, a reference to one of one of our friends, uh, a fellow Mario runner, Astex. When we watched the trailer for the first time, when the elephant came on screen, he just shouted "monkey," uh, and, and and ever since then, that is what we've called it. We have a seven TV mode called "monkey," and it's just a picture of the elephant from this game. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we do semi-unironically call it monkey instead of elephant. <laughs> Alright. Please get the pebble. Oh my god. Need this pot. Okay. This wonder is not good. <laughs> I need that. It's just so scuffed. Yeah, this just feels like one of those sections that's just impossible to do optimally. Yeah. Always. Sometimes sometimes you're in good cycles and you avoid the, the water bubbles, but sometimes it's just impossible to avoid. Especially where you can certainly use like the dolphin kick one throughout the entire game for any water session, but it's almost not all water after all, so it's kind of impossible to take that in here without losing a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, that still went all right. I've, I've had worse hot hot hots. Much worse. It actually golded. That's kind of sad. And yeah, we take those though. Uh, we take those. Absolutely take those. <laughs> So many three wonder seats in World Six. You have you have all these like poplin houses that you have to unlock for whatever reason. Surprising amount, honestly. I didn't expect that so late into the game. <laughs> yeah, it's I think it's four total. That's weird. Okay, there's a nice skip here. Usually you're supposed to water these blocks from the top, but if you Position yourself correctly, you can do that. Okay. That was okay. Okay. Now another KO Arena. I would say this is definitely the hardest one because. You want to get bubble and elephants, uh, and you don't want to lose 
you, you can lose the elephant, but it's kind of bad if you do. But the main concern is the bubble. We need that for the next level. And it's it's quite it's quite tough to not lose elephant here. Okay, that was good. Yeah, this is the this is the concerning room. Please cooperate. Even just entering this room, it just looks terrible. What? Where are you? Oh my gosh. That was certainly interesting. Of course, was, the notchers again. That was not that was, fair. I was I, I I was swiping my trunk. I don't know how I got hit there. Yeah, the, the fact that you killed one and not the other, even though they were only like pixels displaced horizontally, that made no sense. That was strange. Strange game. Funny game. <laughs> that was alright. Nice. Okay. This last room is very good with elephants, so it would, would have been nice to keep it, but we can deal with it, I think. That was, Ooh. That was a good backup. Yeah, we'll Pretty good. That. That was honestly better than I expected. Lego fireworks, yeah, I guess so. Right. <laughs> guess we can call them that. Fun fact, the fireworks actually don't damage you if you get hit by them. Nintendo's sending an interesting message. <laughs> mm. well, this, uh, this, this, this level is interesting. Um, huge auto scroll skip here, so... Let's see if I get it. I believe. Okay. Nice. Very good. That's first part. Probably the harder part. Uh, world record right now is a 512. And we are on pace right now to get like a 517, I would say. Not bad at all. Yeah, it, 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 it fell off super hard in, in, in World 5. That's okay. That Goomba level is the worst. Yeah, the Goomba level and... Um, it was another big mistake, I can't remember right now. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's all Goombas. good. No, point 0.9. <laughs> oh! <laughs> point 0.9 gang. Point 0.9 gang, point 0.9 gang. Oh! No. This do not do that. Should have said anything. There we go. Nice. Cool. I mean, that was like, that was not even that bad. Those were two pretty quick deaths, I guess. So, could be worse. Um, oh yeah, five over five hours is pretty, pretty long for a 2D Mario game, for sure. Lots of improvements, uh, optimization to, uh, to come, I imagine. Um, yes and no. We we started getting pretty optimized recently, and many many people always ask for sub five currently, and it's definitely gonna happen at some point. How long it's gonna take? Good question. Don't have to distract that with a shell. That was really cool. <laughs> thank you. Nice hat. Thank you. I'm Santa ninety three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, by the way, I just noticed the time right now, and also I think we're on pace for like a around like a five some deal, like you said, right? Yep. So, uh, want to take a break after this level then? Sure. Final sure. one. Awesome. Yeah. 
you have the two months is very optimized. The the game was already decently optimized optimized before it even came out, at least in any percent. <laughs> Which is kinda sad. Yeah. I think it, I think it, I think it's just the natural like cost of speedrunning now, especially now that it's a much less niche hobby compared to like pre-COVID. Like s optimization of speed games, especially games that are going to be as popular as Mario always will be, it's impressive how quickly the game got optimized, like to a level that's actually semi hard to compete in. Yeah, I'm sure. It's kind of how it is these days, like especially with Switch speedrun, because so many people have a Switch, and so many people are, are like interested in running stuff on Switch. Whether it's like because of like they want to, you know, get their stream going on Twitch, for instance, and, like stuff like that. Maybe getting a record helps them that sort of thing. Like you can see a lot more optimized these days than they did back in the day for sure. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of ridiculous. It feels like you gotta be like doing this full time to really be like at like world record level at the most popular category of a game these days. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, it it's is. It's also uh, kind of cool to see like the optimization at the same time so early. Yeah, it is wild. Like, hey, I'm unemployed, and I even find it hard to keep up with some of the people playing this game. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy it's the amount of hours that people put in. The people all just also just pick things up really fast compared to others. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of the one thing about this category that's hard for for me myself is uh, I I'm not unemployed and <laughs> have, you know doing a doing an over five hour run on on just a work day is not not that easy you know and also mm -hmm. you know putting the practice in trying to optimize it is just a lot of things to do. The only thing why I you know I am kind of. I'm kind of was an elite in this category for a while just because I was like almost the only one playing this category and trying to actually optimize it. Um, so that's why it was kind of ahead. But um, now Jay, the the insane gamer coming in, uh, it made sense that I'm gonna have competition. But it's it's nice as well. Like competition having competition is nice. Absolutely. That's why it pushes like speedruns speed go like even further beyond, like even further optimization. It's always nice to have that sure. sort of thing. What, what's the phrase people use? Like competition breeds creativity or something, or like breeds uh, something. I, I forget the phrase, but it's something like that. Yeah. Oh, we we want to do a break. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it after this. We're, we're talking about something. It's all yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot. It's a, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's, it's a quick one. It's a quick one. Yeah. I imagine it's Jet Run after all. Exactly. I've learned. I've learned a thing or two from this. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm I'm done for another break. Last Sounds one. good. In that case, yeah, it's our last break of the entire run here. When we get back, we'll finish off the rest of it. Should be awesome. But for now, I'll see y'all. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Stick around. See you in a bit. And welcome back, everybody, to the final part of this Mario Wonder Harvest set run right here. Um, I'm sure one quick announcement before we go into it is that if you missed any of our hotfix shows, including like, you know, the last like four hours or so of this run, uh, be sure to check out check us out on YouTube at youtube.com YouTube slash games done quick. Watch me up here in a few days after the fact. But yeah, uh, let's, see, let's, let's finish it off. Let's do it. Let's finish strong. Yep, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're about to, we're about to uh, finish off World 6. So we're basically right at the end of the run, around an hour left, a bit less maybe. We're gonna continue with Invis 2. Um, probably, I would say even a bit easier than Invis 1, if you know what you're doing. Um, just gonna bounce on these, get the coin. I'm gonna get the checkpoint for safety, you don't need it. That's nice to be big. 
Yeah, there is also one trick that you can use with the invisibility is the oh, fact that you can emote, yeah, with X. Oh, wow. Will just show where you are. <laughs> that uh, makes it so much it, easier. <laughs> yeah, it's very helpful if you're struggling with any of the invisibility sections of this game. The problem with it, with it, but the problem with it is that you can only do it while holding neutral on your stick. Yeah. So you have to like release your stick, then press it, then uh, press it again. It's. I would say it it screws me more up than it helps me. That's why I don't use it. Yeah. But many people do, especially in the in the batch marathon at the end. I'll spring P2. This is probably, I, I think this is the hardest batch challenge, like the single, the hardest single batch challenge. Because you really need good momentum and good time jumps to actually make the jumps at all. Um, in a bit. Like this one you need momentum for, otherwise you don't even make it up there. Like this, like this. And to restart. Okay, there we go. Okay, here coming up for the next 10 coin, we can do well time ground pound. Nice. Come on. <laughs> this one sucks. Yeah, I've never been a. Oh, oh man. <laughs> this is just a Spring P2 classic. I've never been a fan of this badge. <laughs> okay, there we go. Same. It's frankly even worse in the badge marathon when you're not using Nabbit. Thank you. That one goes either very well or it Yippee. goes like that. World 6 special, we have the bowling wonder effect uh, from Roombas. Uh, we do probably, one probably one of the scariest intended strats in this game. <laughs> or the scariest looking. Oh, you, you spoiled it. Damn. <laughs> uh, it'll still be scary. Trust me. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I think people are still gonna be terrified. <laughs> I'm ready to be spooked right now. Yep. <laughs> no! Oh, man. <laughs> 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 yep. I couldn't tell if that was a bit at that point. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I have to add the it? screaming for effect. <laughs> that was so close. Guys. <laughs> I almost missed. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's really consistent because you just roll off the platform, yeah, like you, you just roll you... off and hold jump, and you always make it. It's always that close, but you always make it. That's yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I regret saying anything. It would have been way funnier actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was so prepared for the bits, but Darcy ruined it. It was still good content. I'll, 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 we I'll take this. <laughs> okay. We're gonna do a bit more standy shopping here. Now we're gonna we're gonna finally show off the the guaranteed standies. Throughout yeah. the whole run until now, we've only bought the the random ones. But in special world, you can buy these for thirty coins. And since we have so many now, it's just not worth anymore to risk the randoms. Which one's your favorite, Standy? Ooh. I don't know if I should just go for the classic Red Crouching Yoshi. I don't know. <laughs> that might be the one. You, you, you could go for that one. You do have personal experience with it. <laughs> which, one, Otherwise... which one's your favorite? Like, what your gut feeling? Which one's your favorite one? It's gotta be maybe 
Maybe Luigi Hoppy Cat. That one's pretty good. <laughs> There's very line of Luigi too, just being a little shy. I honestly really like Balloon Mario, because the first time I saw it, I was just like, that's a 64DS reference if I've ever seen it. Yeah, 64DS, <laughs> let's go! Love that game. <laughs> Used to run a lot back in the day. <laughs> oh, heck. Miss Warped. Now that you said that, that's one of my favorites now, too. <laughs> oh my god, I, I warped the worst place, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I, did, I went one too far on the on the menuing and I, I lost like 10 seconds. Alright. Time to finish up World 6. This actually has a very scary skip in any percent and all our seeds, but we don't do it because we have to get the wonder flower. Which is probably good in this yeah. case. Yeah, it's it for the best. much easier. Yeah, you can basically do some really goofy bubble jumps to skip the auto scroll section of this level. It saves 16 seconds. I think it saves even more if you do the, the YOLO version of the strat, as we call it. Um, and it's just so annoyingly difficult, and the, your chances of killing your run right at the end of it is so high. But 16 seconds in a 2D Mario is 16 seconds in a 2D Mario. We just kind of have to do it. But here we just wait, because there's no other way to grab this last coin. We obviously also need the, the Wonder Seed. I went right through the fire. Interesting. <laughs> Cheating. Ban him. <laughs> Leaderboard mods. <laughs> they finally caught me. It's over. <laughs> Been a good run. Right in 4K as well. <laughs> On GDQ Hotpicks. Caught Can't cheating. believe it. Despicable, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi, yeah. <laughs> I even think about that, it's true. Luigi. <laughs> that was Luigi's Mansion 3, good game. I really need to play a Luigi's Mansion game. I never have. Play the first one, it's the best one, but 3 is also really fun too. I like, yeah. Honestly, I like all of them. I like Dark Moon as well. I'm a Dark Moon fan. I've seen speedruns of uh, the Luigi's Mansion 1, but yeah, never played one either. Remember for that though. game? I'm percent for that game is one of those runs I want to eventually get on this show as well someday because that, that's a really fun one. Yeah. It's like I know 8 percent you get like 30 out of the 50 boos, but like in 100 percent you get like all of them, which is has some fun routing to it. Yeah. Now we are in the end game. Ooh. Officially. Oh, There's certainly some cool levels coming up as well. For sure. The, the, the World Bowser levels are all quite nice. Also, oh, I just... <laughs> We just had a really funny moment with the, the picture frame at the end of the level, because it said the 10th, and I was like, I swear it's the 9th today. But it's because midnight passed for you, like, 8 <laughs> minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> but I was losing it. Oh wait, yeah. I didn't I didn't even... I, did, I don't even realize, I never noticed that it even shows the date. <laughs> yeah. See, as a filthy American over here, I've been reading the day every time, it's like September 12th. <laughs> yeah, I'm I so thankfully, sorry. Haven't had, thankfully haven't had that problem. <laughs> Who would say like, the oh, month first? Oh god, I mean, <laughs> why would you do that? 
I'm so sorry. I'm conditioned. <laughs> I'm ease. <laughs> This game wasn't even out in September. Why do I keep reading this as such? <laughs> it's a little wild to me. This game's almost two months old, though, because, like, I did not think so much time has passed since then, but hey, there we go. Yeah, e even as someone who ran the game day one, it doesn't feel like it's been two months. It feels like way shorter. Oh, yeah. I mean, we still got ten days to go, right? Yeah. That is Something true. like that. So it's more like one and a half, one and two thirds. One ish. <laughs> but still more than it feels like, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, finally, we can play again. First coin, the first ten coin in um, this level coming up is, in my opinion, has one of the weirdest bubble jumps to actually get it. So I'm gonna have to like bubble, jump, then turn back a little, and then do another bu bubble jump on the bubble. It's like you'll see what I mean. It's it looks a bit awkward. There we go. Yeah. How many percents? Uh, 90. We're almost there. Bubble jump to get the flower early, and now we are in a little bit of an auto scroller. I also didn't realize how many auto this game had until like this run here. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's it's usually the the wonder flowers. They're often auto scrollers. Yeah, the good ones there are the ones with songs. Yeah, true, for sure. Those bubble jumps I, did, I just did save no time, by the way. But I just did them anyways <laughs> because they look cool. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, it's not about saving time, it's about looking cool. <laughs> yeah. Very important that we kept bubble through this level just for this. Otherwise we would have to wait for the missile mags to carry us to the flagpole. Is that they're called? Yep. yep. Good name, love it. It's like they kept the alliteration from Bullet Bill, like it's perfect. <laughs> They're like brother and sister, I guess. <laughs> what are the. Aren't there also the ones from. The, the underwater ones? What are those called? Torpedo t Pit? No. Torpedo Tits. Yeah, 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 Torpedo Tits. That's, that's the one. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. The cousin. Yeah, the, the cousin. <laughs> the, the cousin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this level is awesome. Yeah, this is a really fun level. Especially if you can actually hear the game audio. <laughs> I remember I, I popped off when I entered this wonder section in my casual. No. Okay. Can't kill those. I had no idea. There we go. Yeah. It's nice to skip that towards the 
the Wonder Flower, otherwise you would have to go all the way around. Also, by the way, Shasta, since you can't hear it either, it's Metal Mario music. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Mario 64 reference. No way. That Such rules. A I have a I have a rule in my chat when I'm playing 64. If I go into the Metal Mario area and you don't type a jammy mo in my chat, you are banned permanently. Understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Completely understandable for that one. <laughs> it is a requirement. <laughs> It's such a banger. <laughs> it is it is a great tune. Yeah, I was very happy to see it in this game. They 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 reference quite a lot of my other Mario games in this one, especially with the music. Lots of the 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 break chime songs, that's Sunshine One, then just other Mario song classics. It's pretty nice. A lot of fun. I remember, I remember popping off and never heard Delphine Plaza earlier. <laughs> like the, no, not Sunshine. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I grew up with Sunshine. <laughs> that was my first 3D Sun Mario. <laughs> Sunshine bad. Wow. <laughs> But it's okay. fun. I just got sniped. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. oh my god. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> okay. That is set the new one. That was terrifying. Definitely want the elephant here though. Makes this next grab much easier. Just can do that. Yeah, you cannot ground pound this, these bricks. Uh, they just turn into the, the normal blocks. You do it. So we actually have to use a Seeker build there. Nintendo have fun. <laughs> yep. And guess what? Another auto scroller. Woo! <laughs> For the wonder section. Oh, I'm getting sniped today by these Seeker builds. So it's just very apart from four levels. Let me guess, Pachinko... Uh, really a lot of secret levels, I think, honestly. Lily, lily pad secret, for sure. Lil yeah, lily pad for sure. <laughs> Absolutely that one. Um, I know Slang just pulled forward on, that's it. Probably, probably Sandbird. Yeah, no <laughs> Sandbird for sure. Sand. That's for sure Sandbird. Sandbird oh. uh What else? What would the fourth be? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm lost on Too many to choose from. <laughs> this is absolutely. We've just evolved into Sunshine Slander. <laughs> Not me, I like that game. Denver <laughs> <laughs> is beautiful and terrifying. Very true. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna rue the day that I get good enough at SMS to have to do Rocket Bird. That's gonna be so exciting. It looks so cool, though. <laughs> it is actually like a lot. A lot of the like top level strats in the game are really freaking cool looking. At least they probably yeah. suck to do though, but they're really uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I honestly feel like Sunshine is pretty fun if you're actually good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for but, sure. You know, if you're just like average, it's just kind of oh man. It's a rough one. I mean, my I think my controversial 3D Mario take is that SMS has the best movement in 3D Mario and the worst level design in 3D Mario. That's like, that's my take on Sunshine. As, I can get behind that. Mostly as a speedrunner. I, I never played Sunshine casually. Right. Time for Knuckle Fest. This one is pretty pretty fancy looking, I would say. I'm gonna do some yeah. damage moves at the, uh, the beginning here. Skip all of this auto scroller shenanigans. And this is a fancy looking grab right here. 
Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> maximum maximum jet run usage. Yeah, if you press press B a little bit later, you are going into the poison. <laughs> and then momentum for that block. And oh we're over here. And then this second section of Knuckle Fest is kinda weird. The cycles are tied to the music. And even if you like take damage, uh, it doesn't it doesn't stop the cycle. So I really need to pay attention to not take damage here, otherwise it'll not work out. Ooh. It's actually interesting, as far as I'm aware, uh, Jet Run actually doesn't save time in this section. It because, doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. Because you have to wait for the music anyway. So even though you can go really fast, uh, it's actually impossible to beat the music by one extra, like, verse. I don't know. I'm not a musician. I don't know what you'd call it. But, uh, yeah. Like, Sila has to, uh, yeah, wait a little bit for the music there. Yeah, at the beginning I did some damage boost and technically Nebit might be faster for that part, uh, for the level itself, but then you also gotta include the, the character switching. And then I highly it's, doubt it it's saves not fast anymore. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. That was the time when Nagapos was boss done with Nebit, but it was deemed to be slower. Yeah, that was more when we didn't do, like, the damage boost strats as main characters. Trip of the Ouija Dancer. More Necro Dancer. References. Love it. <laughs> I mean, we do have King Boo back in this next level. True. About to finish the game. Not the run yet, though. Nope, not quite yet. Got a little more of that left. One thing I'm paying attention to here is to grab all the pebbles and also to keep my elephant because I need that for the final fight. But I still want to grab all the fire flowers uh, during this auto spell section to get the extra flower coins. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the flower and then before I grab the next one, I'm going to switch to elephant again. And since we're in this auto scroller music section, it doesn't it doesn't even lose time. It doesn't even like freeze the game when I change power ups, which it usually does. So I can switch power ups however however many times I want without losing time. Yeah, it does kind of suck that the uh, the final level is basically a. Three minute auto scroller into a into the boss fight. It's also a shame, makes, unfortunately. Makes it an absolute pain to practice too, because every time you restart the level, you uh, have to do the start again. Yeah, that's my least favorite thing sometimes about like certain levels that I, I do in some of the runs I have done. <laughs> sometimes yeah. it's like a really cool thing you gotta practice for, but after it's like th four minute auto scroller, <laughs> or it's yeah. like you practice one practice the final phase of the boss and. You can't, the boss is like two minutes long otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I think if the if practice tools release for this game in the near, near future, I think the main thing that we'll see improve will be people's ability to play the final boss. Because uh, there is a decent amount of skill involved in it. And I'm very bad at it. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> yeah, surely. Uh, yeah. It's just... Other, other people... Um, we ran the the any percent categories. Obviously focused more on this fight, but I had a lot more stuff to work on as well, so I, I haven't completely optimized this yet. 
Yeah. But I still want to do it because it does save a lot if you can do it well. Yeah, I mean, even even being like four minutes off of record in all Royal Seeds, which is a two hour category, my gold is still 22 seconds worse than what a perfect fight is considered to be. Yeah, which is it's crazy. A, a, a huge amount of time in one split. It's time. It's time for the banger that I won't get to hear. <laughs> Sad. It is what we need elephant for. Quick first attack. Oh, Only easy. possible with elephant or bubble. But we don't have bubbles, so we use elephant. So yeah, basically the way that this fight works is that there are three main phases uh, and you have to hit Bowser, then kill all the hands so that Bowser respawns and then hit him again. And then there's like a transitional phase. Like this, which you can't do anything to speed up, unfortunately. You just kind of have to wait them out. There is actually a, a really annoying caveat of these sections of the boss fight. I said the best time you could get in this level was a... Uh, well, actually, I didn't say what it was. It's a 6.48. Um, but while that run was being performed, uh, the person who did it, Chris, realized that uh, the way that the transitional periods in this level work are really annoying. Also, so I was going to go for a fast hit here. Ooh, so close. Can I get the backup please, at least? Nope. <laughs> Man. I think if you if you hit the hand and then land back on the platform while it's still elevated, you still have the height to jump and spin instead, which might have slightly easier mm. timing. Maybe, yeah. Okay, double hit here. Nice. Nice. There it is. Anyway, yeah, what I was saying before, basically, you have to end like each phase at a specific time. Uh, for the transitional period to start as quick as possible. And you can actually lose like upwards of five seconds if you don't have the timing correct. Uh, and it's really hard to tell what the timing is. Uh, we actually thought it was RNG to begin with, which is really great for the final boss of a, <laughs> of a run. But yeah, I think it is just down to timing. All right. We got bubble. We actually need this bubble for... Uh, you know, Piranha Parade, which we haven't finished yet. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Second level of the game is one of the last that we actually complete in an 100% setting. I find that really funny, personally. <laughs> yeah. Personally, I'm a pretty big fan of this fight. I think it's definitely I the love best the, 2D Mario. I love that awesome. uh, rhythm part. Oh, fuck. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's super flashy. I like it. There we go. Now to the final hit. Oh my god, a button! I think we might press it. <laughs> what could that possibly do? There you go, there's your 80% speedrun completed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Insane 80% speedrun in 4 hours and 50 minutes. Can't believe it's the first aim to run on my show here about 100% speedrun, that's crazy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Grabbed a few more collectibles than I needed to, but... <laughs> yeah, we, we took got some just, just a little. We finished it, we finished it uh, at the end, so all good. Here's your levels <laughs> too, you know, it's all good. <laughs> good portion of standees too, what was behind that one? I just wanted to show off the standees, you know? Um, yeah, I get that. <laughs> they're, they're so cool. Yeah, I just wanted to show the cool designs. Especially the 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 red crouching Yoshi ones, my, my the, favorite. The goats, the goats, the goat standy.
We're gonna have a short cutscene here. Um, and after that, the other cutscenes we're able to skip, so that's nice. Would have been kind of annoying if we couldn't skip the credits because I think they're actually like quite long. That would surprise me. A lot of like, I noticed a lot of Switch games have very long credits, honestly. Not all of them, but like, especially some of these like main series ones like Mario and Zelda have very long credits. Yeah. And we can't, we just can't get 100% before we do this level, so we can't end with the, the final Bowser fight, unfortunately. It's not possible. Yeah. In theory, it would really suck if we had to watch the credits, because you'd basically be sitting there for like 5 or 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the end of the speedrun. Yep. <laughs> like, at mm. least in the Galaxy games, the credits are like right in the middle, so you can like, you know, take a break, stuff like that. You know, it's really nicely timed. But yeah, this would just be a massive inconvenience. <laughs> We we'll do just start right here. That's routing. Yep. Hell yeah, routing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> almost like this was all planned. It's almost like you know uh, what you're doing or something. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think Silent might have played this game before, guys. Possibly. No, There's a chance. <laughs> Very impressive first playthrough. Insane casual gameplay. First time having a casual playthrough on my show as well too. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the first time. Yeah. And now we're gonna use the bubble from the Bowser fight to get up to the secret. Because usually you need the wonder effect to get up there, because it spawns like pipes that you can land on. But conveniently, the bubble fight guarantees you bubble power up, and we use that to our advantage to get up to the secret. I was wondering about that. No pun intended here, but like, I, 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 I thought I should need the Wonderfly for that, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. This, this game has just it like removed our ability to say the word wonder without it. <laughs> yeah, being a I know. This is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> wonder. Haha. <laughs> <I> would... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try and say I was curious about them next time. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've had time to think. <laughs> Just re remove that word from our vocabulary from here on out. <laughs> Might as well stop saying Mario, too. There <laughs> <laughs> um, go. And now it's time for cheating. It's -a -me. Please? Thank you. Also, something uh, I need to explain. This, what I'm doing right now, is a coin galore level, which gives you 54 purple coins and is a lot faster than grinding purples in Shooter Trial. And after you beat the game, usually these spawn once you game over, in the world you game over, but when you beat the game, they spawn once in every single world, so you can get these for free uh, seven times total. Very useful. Yep. Nabbit! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> Did the runner seriously just switch to the easy character? The easy mode? <laughs> so now we're finishing with one with the shop. And all the badges I just bought are post game, so I had to go to the shop anyways. And now we're gonna do the World 3 special. And the rest of uh, special world. And if you have, if you've seen this level before that I'm about to do, you will understand why we use Nevit for this, and why we routed this routed this uh, this way. Because this upcoming level is 
not very nice. Ah, yes, triple threat. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Great Lovely. level. I remember which one I'm thinking was, this one is, because like, I've played this one for sure. It's the one where you get... Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I understand. I completely understand that. Yeah, honestly, if, the, if, 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 we, if we had to pick one level that is significantly nicer to play as Nabbit of all the ones that we do at the end of the run, genuinely might be this one. Absolutely, this one for sure. It's, it's crazy how annoying this level is. <laughs> the one, the one level where Nabbit saved the most time is definitely Batch Marathon, the one at the very end. Yeah, but yeah. This is the this is not annoying anymore with Nabbit. This level is super RNG heavy, and you can easily die just by, you know, a boulder falling on your head. I can confirm that one. It happened a lot to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, special levels don't mess around. Definitely not. Time for the last three main levels, which are semi-final, final, and final final test. Crazy. Great name, Nintendo. They really did like the saving a Photoshop document and putting final twice in the name. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the good luck. We're about to finish. Hopefully the rest the rest will go flawlessly. RNG wise overall, we ended up being pretty good. I think we don't have to grind at all, which is nice. Who wants to see okay. coin grinding on on GDQ hotfix? <laughs> I do, I do. <laughs> okay, I, don't. I might I might I might do one. Just well, for you. Oh, hey, thank oh, you. Oh wait, the question is are we really doing all the things if we don't do coin grinding? Brew. Real real. Name drop. <laughs> it's so easy to name drop the name of my show, and I love that, honestly. <laughs> this happens like every show that I do just naturally, it's the best. <laughs> I never get tired of it. Also, this final section was a pain casually. I remember restarting this one so many times. <laughs> yeah. Worth it though. Song is very good. This level is actually not too bad. Um, there's a secret elephant at the beginning, and elephant helps a lot in this level. Um, if you don't use Nabbit. Which we actually, we just, we routed the, this uh, uh, to the end with Nabbit like yesterday or two days ago. So it's pretty recent. Uh, but yeah, now we do it. Now we do it with Nabbit. Alright. Another thing I recently learned, and I actually tr had trouble with earlier today, is this level, which I do with Jetran now. It's quite scary, but it's faster. But we are gonna do it. You got this. Why would I intentionally be slow, right? <laughs> How would you do that?
Okay. Oh no. <laughs> the, the funny bit. I the forgot funny. About it. <laughs> it's returning. <laughs> it's back. No, I thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious every, every time. <laughs> Never gets old. That always looks absolutely terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't it does not only look like that. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Cause you, to make that jump you actually have to um delay your ju your jet run jump as long as possible. Yeah. And if you jump too early, you don't make it. If you jump too late, you don't get a jump at all. <laughs> yeah. And there are no checkpoints. I wonder how oh, bad... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we were done with them. <laughs> and they're back. We hope. Unfortunately. Yeah, imagine. I was about to say. I imagine what. I, I can't imagine what patch marathon would be like if we didn't get checkpoints. It'd be an incompletable level, quite casually. Mhm. Mm I mean, it's pretty unlikely that I'll die in batch marathon, but yeah, it could happen. It, it can always happen. Yes. That level already drove me to madness. Even just having to do the last four sections without dying. But yeah, fingers crossed. No death. Here we go! They just um. casually put, put like a thing back there. <laughs> you know, just... It's just there. In case you want to do it one more level. I remember when... <laughs> when me and, me and Kyle did the playthrough, our first playthroughs. <laughs> Kyle thought he was done after Wonder Garden and then realized there's one more level if you do everything. Because <laughs> <laughs> this level this... only unlocks if you have everything else. Like, all yeah. purples, all black poles, everything. This, then this, this level, level unlocks. This level actually drove me nuts. I'm... <laughs> I, I, I was considering streaming my casual playthrough for this game. I'm so glad I didn't. I did not need the the pain that I went through in this level immortalized for eternity on my Twitch channel. Oh, <laughs> Pink Badge Marathon is harder than Perfect Run. I mean, it's it's all just practice. True. Yeah, like, I've only done Badge Marathon once, I've done Perfect Run God knows how many times in G2 speedruns. Yeah. Might as well ask before the end right here. Is there a reason why you're playing as Nabit and not, like, the, the Yoshis, for instance? And they both don't take damage. Uh, yes. When Yoshi takes damage, uh... You get knocked back. Oh, and Nabbit doesn't. Yep. Like, Damn. Nabbit, okay. You, you just you just have like you just don't take damage, and with Yoshi, you just get knocked back by by uh, taking damage. I don't know why they did that, but yeah, that's why Nabbit is better. Better. Hmm. Interesting. But I guess Yoshi can flutter, so maybe there is some strap with that. I don't know. Certainly possible for sure. Yeah, there were there were some strats labbed for Yoshi, but I don't think uh, I don't think they're faster because the flutter just slows you down. This is the main section where Nabbit is just so nice. It actually, it makes me so angry watching you just bounce through this without a care in the world. 
This, this is one of the worst sections to do in Badge Marathon. Yeah, this is the... I say the final section. There's four sections, but that's the last checkpoint that we just picked up. Yeah, there are bubble strats for this level as well that you obviously can do with Nabbit because Nabbit can use power-ups. But Nabbit does save like 20 seconds overall. You save a lot in Spring, you save a lot in uh, grappling, grappling Vine coming up. A bit in Dolphin Kick as well, like... Nabbit saves a lot. You can skip a few cycles here just because you don't have to worry about taking damage. Yeah, like we would have definitely had to wait there otherwise. Alright, the final section. This is definitely the hardest one, so hopefully I don't die. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is genuinely as hard as it looks. Okay. Just don't miss up with the flagpole. <laughs> don't get incredible. Just don't get incredible. Yeah, you're good. Let's Jesus. go. Okay. Nice. Eggman. No incredibles. None at Yay. all. We don't need that. <laughs> really a wonderful speedrun. Hey. <laughs> Name drop. <laughs> Alright, how many cards do we have? Let me get my handy calculator. 448. And what Sandys were... I forgot. How many Sandys? Uh, I don't know. I will open my calculator and get a get ready to punch it in as soon as we know what the number is. I I, I have I have a I made a calculator. Oh, and okay. it automatically does it with like with my coins and forty eight. I just need no more standees. I'll check. Actually. Oh, Wonder right now. I know. I know. I know right now. If your coin count would be like, you get fourteen out of it. Eighteen. Seven hundred eighty. Uh, yes. So there's no grinding, but we do need the the NPC. Okay. No grinding needed. Wicked. I'm sorry. Awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> No grinding today. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, to be fair, it's more of a testament to how far the purple coin routing of this category has come already. It really like, is, we used, honestly. We, we used to have to do, like, multiple minutes of grinding. Even more than that. Yeah, like, the first... Like, it was pretty common to grind, like, 400 coins at yeah. the beginning of Hondo runs. Which is... 400 coins... 15 minutes, maybe? It's a, it's, it's a lot. So, yeah. Other coins are kind of just, uh, yeah. Also, this is the Goomba NPC. We killed 45 Goombas. 11, minu uh, 11 minutes is how long take grinding 400 coins would take. Jeez. There we go. This is way faster, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, if I if I say grinding, I don't mean these ones. I mean the the grinding in Sugar Star Trial. Yeah, that's what I thought. So with these coin galore rooms, um, I'm gonna have enough, which is nice. Are these rooms all the same? Yeah. That's what I thought. I was like, am I, am I seeing double here? Four <laughs> coin galore rooms. <laughs> Yeah, there's one in each world after you've beaten the game, or after you game over, uh, they spawn in each world.
get comfy, we're gonna see this like for five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! For like three. I'm trying to think of what to say to fill the air at this point. <laughs> For sure. Guys, anything, any questions here for the runners? Anything for me? Anything for no, just just in general? Any, any philosophical questions? <laughs> By all means, we got we got a little bit of time before the end. Isn't there another run coming up after this on the GDQ channel today? Uh, not today. Tomorrow though. Okay. But okay. Th I think tomorrow, if I recall, oh, actually, someone just posted a schedule in there. Perfect. I have to recall it. Yeah, it's a. Uh, that's right, uh, Limey is uh, hosting uh, a Puyo Puyo main series run marathon, and I uh, PZ SMB will be running for that one. Who, coincidentally enough, is also on my. I actually got two uh, long uh, weekend slots like this this month, and my next one is next weekend on Saturday, and PZ will be running for that as well, too, but different games, so there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Night 6 tracks for that one, along with uh, Mario Kart DS All Missions with Abel. Ooh. Be very good. 96 tracks in all missions, that's nice. Yeah, I'm glad we got those. I still wanna I still wanna do some 96 tracks runs at some point. I haven't even played all the new tracks yet. Now they're revived, but they, I've I've seen them array, they're really cool. Yeah, they're really good. I saw Los the An Los Angeles one recently and I, that's where I'm from. So like it was really cool seeing all the references inside that track too. Stuff I've seen IRL before. <laughs> <laughs> like you start off with like Sam Monk up here in that track and like I, I'm like ah I know that place <laughs> there's a theme park <laughs> there it's cool <laughs> you go through Dodgers Stadium at some point it's like ah <laughs> you all really think Sam Bird is worse than Chuck Stroh Corona Mountain yes yes I do <laughs> Corona Mountain though maybe I mean I'll, I'll give you Crow Man, but not Chuck's here. Chuck's yeah, fine. Yeah, the, the boat's pretty terrible. And, uh, and so, yeah. Yeah, uh, intentional, intentional game over, overing was uh, looked into at the beginning of the run for extra points. Unfortunately, it's too slow. Yeah, I think, I think if, I mean, yeah, we have 50 lives, there's no way. But also another caveat of it is that if you game over, it only spawns the coin thing in the world you game over. It doesn't in it doesn't respawn all of them. Yeah, I, I, I tested it, the game overing. And even with four players connected and all dying, it's too slow. <laughs> yeah, it just takes too long. And yeah, also we, we talked about sub five. Um, it's still pretty pretty far, I would say. I I hit four fifty eight sub this run, and usually right now we play around eight to ten minutes of sub with a good run, more like eight. Yeah, eight if it's good. So it's like a like a mid ox is possible right now, but otherwise it's gonna be tough. The other, the, the other thing about getting sub-5 in Hundo is that it's not entirely an endeavor of skill. Stand the RNG will start getting nuts the better we get at this category. Yeah, because I mean, it technically would be better to start skipping the coin gloss as well. But um, we're just not at that point yet. Yeah. Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point someone will get an insane run and skip like three coin galores as well and save another two minutes. Who knows? Also, we're about to finish the run! <laughs> True, actually, yeah. That was gonna be as soon as we get the last standy, right? Yeah, as um, soon as the, the text box pops up um, that we get uh, the sixth medal for the save final, it'll be obvious. Okay, okay. I'll count it down. So, I like that Goom the yellow Goomba standy there, it's pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Just, just like dead there, what the, yeah, the I, heck? I, so I, I like that there's some personalization like between the different versions of the same standy for each character. 
Our time is coming up in 10 seconds. And three, two, one, time. There we have it. That is GG. Mario won 100%. GG. 516, not too bad. If we didn't have a meltdown in World 5 and 6, would have been uh, a new record, but that's okay. Still shot that's it up right. pretty, pretty good shot, I would say, I would say, off the category. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming on and running, you know, honestly. Uh, thank and you for giving me the opportunity, and thank you for uh, Sauce for commentating. Of course, it was a pleasure. And if people want to see more runs like this in the future, where can they go? Oh, uh, the best way, the the best Twitch channel to go is of course uh, twitch.tv slash silo93. I will be doing more <laughs> runs probably tomorrow. Um, hopefully, get a new record, and uh, yeah, we'll see. What about you, sir? Of course, as well. Um, I think for the time being, I am moving away from Wonder, but I will probably be back at some point in the future. For now, I think I'm going to move back to, to 3D Mario, which is what me and Silo mostly do best, and try and improve some of my times there. So, I mean, hey, if that sounds appealing, feel free to drop a follow. But uh, yeah, Silo is definitely the person you want to go to for the Wonder content for the time being. Absolutely, uh, that, so that sounds good then. Uh, go ahead. Yep. No, no. Oh, that's okay. Go ahead. Is there if, now, any, any other shout outs right here before we, before we head off for the day? Um, yeah. Shout outs to, first of all, Tippy, I guess. Tippy was first meant to do this run, but there was some things uh, coming in the way. And now I had the opportunity to show it off, and I'm really glad. And also to Jay, who's currently optimizing this category with me, which is, it was, we have been having a good time with it. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I think that's it. Sounds good. Absolutely. Next case, I'll be of our broadcast today on GQ Hotfix. But thank you all for watching. Stick around for a ray after this as well, too. Uh, and also tomorrow, of course, like I mentioned earlier, but I'll say it again. Uh, uh, we'll also be another uh, longer special. It'll be a Puyo Puyo series marathon of PZ SMB, hosted by Limey as well. That should be really fun. Those two are, are some of my best friends during this point. They, abs they absolutely rule. So yeah, be sure to stick around for them. For tomorrow, for sure. I mean. Not, 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 not after this, but yeah. yeah. Either way, have a good night, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good time zone, etc., etc. And we'll, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.